podcast and we are back like we never left we are back like we never left uh this is um what do we call it special edition there we go special edition special late night edition. edition housewarming edition yeah. episode 14 if we drop this so we gotta do generation wealth tomorrow okay so, so am i gonna name that 15 or 14 i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow before okay i'm gonna let jordan the intro because this is his idea okay well we're doing a special edition episode where we are going to talk about different uh stages of marriage okay we have a an engaged couple a couple that is recently married and a couple that has been married for two years and we're going to just discuss life and talk about it and Corey's single self is left out no <laughs> Corey's gonna get on here he's gonna rap okay no i'm not gonna get on here and rap okay. don't be careful with that well tonight he, tonight he he needs a meal he'll be all right though it's all good you're gonna be great. hey you shouldn't have been talking shit. I'm gonna start embarrassing you. See, the couple's gonna get on here and this is what they're gonna be doing. They're live! Nothing they're saying is gonna be the truth. We're gonna have some fun though. It's all good. Yeah, we still got the stream deck recorded. You wanna let that play? Yeah. Or we can just remove it. It is what it is. Alright. Fuck it. Oh. We, we've all been drinking. Listen, we might be slightly intoxicated. My words slur. I don't fucking care. Anyways, um, we're on here. We're going to say some wild shit. Um, we're going to have some couples, and we're going to come on here, and we're going to talk and say some things, okay? Okay, let's just prepare the, the energy for it. All right. We're going to start with fitness or finance, Corey. For relationships? Yeah. Uh, do how we do. Fit, fitness first. However, anybody say anything wild? <laughs> Our lawyer did not approve this, so you are waving all rights as soon as you come on this mic and speak, and your video's in the camera. We'll watch this video tomorrow, see if it makes sense. Let's go. Fitness section. Let's go. So first up, we are going to have our newly engaged no. couple. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have my wife. Uh -oh. Yes, yes, sir. 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 It's uh two twenty seven in the morning. Yeah, but we're gonna oh, have, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, if we forgot y'all. So uh, you hear me? So we're talking about, about early morning edition. Uh, we're talking about fitness. Huh? Let's 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 get into it. You ready? Yeah. So from a a a fitness lifestyle, tell us a little bit about your 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 fitness journey. <laughs> All right. Well, I was a cheerleader for um twenty something years. Um, once I stopped cheering. Uh, the lifestyle afterwards and trying to maintain a fit body was really hard. Okay. Um, then I met my lovely husband and we were out here eating cheesecake every other weekend and Not eating cheesecake pasta. <laughs> we, yeah. One of those. Every weekend. Every going weekend. to Cheesecake Factory. All the time. Eating cheesecake at the restaurant and to go. Not the appetizer, entree, and dessert <laughs> to go. Um, you know, you gain that happy weight and you're like, oh, hell no. So then I uh, joined cheerleading again, lost all that weight, and I was like, cool, finished, finally retired. And then. Notice she said she lost all the weight. I ain't lose shit. Anyway. <laughs> um, finally retired from cheer and went back into that. That moment where I just didn't know what to do with my body or how to stay in shape. And then one day, honestly, I put on these pants and they ripped. And i that was my turning point. I was like, oh, no, this ain't it. At least her pants ripped. Mine never fit. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah? That's how you got into your fitness journey? That's how I got into my fitness journey. Because okay. I was like, I can't keep living this life of trying to squeeze into these pants. And they don't fit. Okay. So how long has your fitness journey been? When did you start? When quarantine happened. 
So damn, uh, in like March. Yeah, March twenty twenty. March twenty twenty. That so was the official start. It's been about a year where I've actually been consistent. But we were like working out before then, right? We weren't like taking it like serious, but we were like yeah. you know, doing. Jordan work. liked to lift weights and I liked cardio, yeah. and we didn't like to do each other's workouts. We so too. we were like, all right, well. You go do your own thing. Did not come up with the happy medium, guys. We were just out here winging it. So it was, it was interesting. Um, okay, so that being said, what changed your mind about fitness? How did you get to where you are now? That's the question. Um, discipline? Consistency? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring back them two words you just said. Discipline and consistency. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How many times do y'all be seeing that on my post? All the time. Listen, that's the only way I started and I am still going. Okay. So for the people who don't know, what's what what do you discipline? What is what does that mean? What do you think that means? We we tell the people so this is this ain't our first episode, right? So people should know what discipline means, but what do you think discipline means? Just having the the mindset to keep going, no matter if you feel like it or not. So it doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. Not at all. Okay. You don't got to be motivated nor perfect. Ooh. Just got to get up and do it. She was motivated too. Y'all not ready. Okay. So re- regardless of how you feel, you get up and get your, your, your work in daily? Yes. Okay. So how many about how many days a week do you work out? At least five days a week. Okay. okay. For about... <laughs> Bring it back one more time so the ladies Five days a week. <laughs> All right, now. Okay. Well, that's and I'm not five. even saying. One, two, three, four, five. You don't five. even have to do much. I don't wake up and I'm... <laughs> I don't wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I need to go work out for three hours. Like, some days I'm just like, let me go do this 20-minute dance workout or 20-minute Peloton workout and call it a day. Because some days I just don't feel like it. But discipline... I have to get it in, so. Okay, but you're consistently moving every day. Exactly. So, about how long do your workouts consist of on your on your your disciplined workouts? At least forty five to fifty minutes. Okay, yeah. so well over yeah, so you be getting it in, so well mm-hmm. over thirty minutes every day. That's that two fifty we just talked about. Hey, we just she's putting in that work, y'all. So for those who have listened to our podcast before, I said you need to put in a minimum thirty minutes every every day for at least five days a week to be able to hit that, that minimum requirement to be active. So she's hitting 45 minutes plus, how many days a week? Five days a week. Getting in that work, okay? So that's how you that's how you become disciplined. Regardless of how she feels about it, she's still getting up and getting it in, okay? Whether it's cardio, strength training, a little bit. Of what? Tell us about your workouts. What, what do you do when you work um, out? Is it- I do a little cardio, so either I go running, or I've now newly incorporated jump roping okay. into my workout. You said that was some enthusiasm. Okay, jump right, roping. Right, hold on, hold okay. On. <laughs> jump roping, a, a dance workout, or I ride my Peloton bike. Okay. And that's my 20 minutes of cardio, and then I will do some sort of strength training afterwards. Peloton bike. You be getting it in? I do. You don't be getting it in. She's they be cussing me out. What's your at name on Peloton for the people out Miss there? Via underscore baby. Miss Via underscore baby. Spell it for the people so they can hear it. Okay. M R S F Y A underscore B A B Y. So follow her on Peloton, y'all. If y'all want that work, okay, because she be getting it in on Peloton, follow her. Okay, I'm also finally fit 06. That's F I N A L L F I T 06 on Peloton. All right, we will give you that work any day of the week. Anyways, getting it in. Um, okay, so you're telling us about your, your workout lifestyle. That's cool. So, what else do you do with your fitness lifestyle? I heard you're also a trainer now. Is that, is that how that goes? <laughs> Did you just say I heard? Yeah. I am not uh, a heard. certified <laughs> trainer. Okay. But I work alongside my husband who is. Okay. Your, your lovely, darling husband? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to get that on air. Anyways, okay. So tell us about your services. What 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 you what do you do? What's your name of your company? What you do? Tell us about your they services, are... girl. What you laughing for? Let me... She's like, this isn't my interview. This is <laughs> be it out amongst the Literally. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get into it. You got about five more minutes, and we are gonna switch it up. Okay. <laughs> She's um... like, is that too much? Okay. Yeah. 
Um, our business is finally fit and we offer one-on-ones and group training. Okay. When do your group training classes? They're Monday and Wednesday, 6 to 7. That's 6 p.m. Eastern, guys. Okay. If you're wondering about the time zone, that is 6 p.m. Eastern. Log on. Check us out at finallyfit.live. Okay. I'm going to plug you in. Plug us in. in. Okay. Come in and check us out. We be getting that work in. If you if you see this any of these lovely couples behind us, they are all fit fam. Okay, we be out here putting in that work. All right, getting nice and big and strong. All right, getting it in. Wait, okay. couples? I thought Corey couples. was single. Hey, right. they disrespect me. This whole night. They disrespect me the whole night. Look, Corey hey. in the background, like. No. <laughs> hey. No. When it come, see, when it comes to the single life, you know, just one night. Listen. <laughs> hey, Jordan bolted the the, uh, the fitness segment for two episodes, so I'll just, uh, this will be one of my two, I thought you had. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. We just having some fun, man. We just talking about it. Okay, so you, online sessions, single sessions. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Miss Miss Stallings. Is there anything else you would like to say to people before we get off of here? No, hold on, hold yeah. on. You want to do that fine ass talk, or you want to say? I, I mean, I thought it was like yeah. an open forum. Okay, say say um, what you got to say. What you gotta say. I don't have anything to say. How you gonna say it's open forum? You got nothing to say. No, like with everybody talking. No, like, oh, at the same time. Yes, like we're engaging the, the mic, in conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can do that. That's at, what at I thought. End. That's so on the on the mics only gonna be picked up with so much. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Can this. okay. Anything else you want to plug to people? You know, tell them follow you on Instagram, on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Miss Fia Baby underscore. Wow, that's not my name. Miss <laughs> underscore Fia Baby. Okay. Spell it for the people. M S. Okay. <laughs> underscore okay. F-Y-A-B-A-B-Y. Okay. That's probably actually wrong, but it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm extra tired. So. On Instagram, and that's it? Yep. Okay, cool stuff. I'll put their links in the description for the show notes. Gotcha. All right. Y'all can find the link on the description and show notes. Moving on. Thank, Thank you, Miss Dollars. We appreciate you. Chill out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it PG. I'm sleeping here tonight. <laughs> Listen. All right, we gonna move on to our next I'm couple. Thank you so much, Mr. Stone. We're gonna move on to our next couple. What do you want to do? We just want to marry, so let's go all the way back. All the way back. Okay. Engage couple okay. first. The engaged couple first. We're gonna talk to Miss China. China. The future Mrs. Mrs. Payne. Reginald Payne. Hello. Hello, all. Hi. Welcome. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. Say with your chest. Look at it. I was trying to see where my mic was. You're good. You're good. You're good. I got you. You're good. We got you. I got you. I'm good. You can talk to me. Y'all good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're chilling, bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say say your name so people make sure you know they know who you are. Hi guys, I'm China. Um, my this is okay, no go ahead. What? Finish. Finish. What you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say I'm China. Okay, she's China. <laughs> All right. My name is Reggie. Okay, that's Reggie. <laughs> and these are the future Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Payne. Yes, that's go. Pain. Yes, sir. We're not paying like a um, round of applause. Right? <laughs> Appreciate y'all blessing the podcast with y'all presence. Of Appreciate course, y'all. Of course. Listen, listen. Uh, so for those who don't know, this is the Fit Fam. Of course, we always gonna plug them. They be out here getting this work in. Also, this is the China. You know, anytime you've heard his reference yes, China before, sir. this is what we've been talking about. Yes, she listens sir. to our podcast Hi. weekly. She be putting in that work. So Don't thank she. you for coming on. Okay, we appreciate you. Of so y'all wanna we we talking about fitness or finance? What are we doing? Fitness up first. Okay, so we talking about fitness. So y'all tell us a little bit about your fitness journey. How y'all how y'all feeling about it so far? Just tell us what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I've been on a fitness journey for my whole life, so I'm just continuing what I can do, doing what I can do. Okay. Um, I have a wedding to get ready for. Hey, so. hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the, where the record scratch? <laughs> <laughs> you got a what? Tell the people. Run that back. Wedding. Run that back. I have a wedding to get ready for. <laughs> she got a wedding to get ready for, y'all. So, hey. Um, April of next year, so okay. I have about nine months to 
get in whatever body I want to get in by then. Okay, okay. So, we see. We see. Shout out to the Fit Fam for helping me with that. Let's go. All yeah. right, Mr. 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 Reggie. Yes, sir. Um, as far as my fit journey, uh, I feel like China kind of got me back on track as far as working out more consistently. She said. Uh, one of my friends from Squad, shout out to Squad from Bowie State. Squad, uh, Squad, go ahead, do y'all crazy. thing. You feel me? Hey. Hey. She said one of her homies was, you know, starting up his own workout group. I'm the homie was, guys. That is Jordan himself. You feel me? Was starting up his own workout group. You know, trying to get people finally fit. You know, making better your best. Gotta love that quote, making better your best. Appreciate so it. you know. Been working out with them since December, keeping us consistent, getting us with that discipline, and you know you uh, get, run that, run that on, back, run that back one more time. One more time for this one. Y'all be you thinking I'm sounding crazy on here. I know I'm about it. Say one more time, bro. Say one more time. You got to keep that discipline. You okay. got to keep that discipline and consistency. You discipline got to is, do it. Is literally the most important it's the part key. It's, of all of this, and I'm not even joking. Listen, I promise you. I'm talking to. Whoever is here, discipline is the most important part listen, of the whole thing. Whoever will listen, it's so many days I do not want to hear Jordan's voice. Uh, get all. them fours in the chat. Get them fours yeah. in the chat. It's the like last this. round, and I'm over here, you know, dragging myself up from round two, and it's round four, and somehow I made it. But you know, the discipline, discipline. you got to keep the discipline and, and that consistency. Like, you get there. It's not even just like the discipline from on Monday and Wednesday. It's the discipline throughout the rest of the week. Thank Man, you. No. Honestly. Them days when no. he no. don't see you, hold you on, still hear your voice. <laughs> that's that's worth that. I gotta give it. Say it one more time, It's the discipline on when, which day? Discipline on the every other day that's not Monday and Wednesday. Thank Them days you. you don't see him, he still be there. Yes. Like he he in the back of your head with yes. the consistency. Like it's it's no joke. Yes, and mm -hmm. and Corey, I don't remember what the word you said that I quoted you. That you just said, but those was the words. What did you say? You said something about you I lost said, the motivation. Nah, the results you get from being motiv motivated aren't the same results you get from being disciplined. That's, that's hey, that's that's Step into the mic, Corey. They can't hear you. Hey, you I, hey look, man, we only got two. We got four, but we only got two. I said the results you get from being motivated are not the same results you get from being disciplined. That's, that's not what you said. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, that's not what you said. Oh, that's, that's not what she's talking about specifically. No, you're talking he, about he the, knows you're what talking I'm about talking the about. caption. He knows exactly she's what I'm talking about. She's talking about the caption. That's not what he said. The, the I'm going to tell you what was, he said. Um, but he said no. really fried people up. The cap, no. She's talking about the caption of that. What's the caption? I'm going to tell you what it is right now. I'm turning captions into graphics. That's how my bars be. This is what the caption was right here. Y'all listening? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I said you're at where you're at because you ran out of motivation and you never built the habits to stay disciplined. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. If y'all didn't hear that, if you didn't hear it, if nobody else heard it, he said you're at where you're at because you ran out of motivation and never built the habits to stay disciplined. Because a lot of people think that discipline and motivation are the same thing, and they're not. Okay, so that leads us into our next question, China. What is the difference between discipline and motivation? For motivation, the out there? motivation pushes you to do something. Okay. Discipline is when you don't want to do it. Then, <laughs> but, what you do but you know you need to do it. Like it's it's just different. When you're motivated, it's like, oh yeah, let's go. I'ma do this. Da -da 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 -da. But when you discipline, it's like, nigga, I don't want to do this at all. Okay. But I'ma still do it. Okay. And that's the difference. Gotcha. I don't know if that's your definition of it. That's that's but pretty that's, much it. That's it for me. We use a bunch of fancy words, but that's that's the same thing, right? You putting in that work regardless of how you feel about it, right? Because you know that shit need to be done. So we we be good. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. So y'all told us a little bit about your fitness journey. Do you mind sharing with us your your goals? Is that personal? If not, don't don't feel like like you need to share them live. If not, um, that's cool. The fitness goals or finance. Fit, I mean fitness. We are gonna move oh, into the finance okay. section. Please. Um, I'm just trying to get skinny. But not real skinny. Okay. Just like skinny enough to wear. Okay. I want to be skinny enough. Okay. Um, and just continue to, I'm trying to build discipline and consistency. Okay. That's really my goal. Gotcha. 
I don't know, I'm, I'm speaking for you because I know we wrote it down, but I think that a big goal for both of us is consistency. Okay. Because we, we don't be as consistent as we probably should be. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like, we'd be doing stuff, and then they'd be like, oh, I fell off. But like, the building the, the, the goals to be actually consistent is probably one of like the biggest things that I think is my goal. Okay. Right. What, do you have to what say? about you, Mr. Reggie? How do you I feel about say it? I'd say that's pretty spot on. I mean, me personally, I'm more so of the, I feel like I've always been fit, but it's more so I could better, you know, sculpt my body as far as you kind of look, say, say you look like a, a regular tree, like you're just a tree stump, right? But if you're a, you want to sculpt that into something else to be like a more defined statue of sorts that's that's more so what i'm going that's for called, yeah, it's called definition yeah yeah you feel me like i'm trying to get the definition i'm trying you know get the get the indents of the you know the abs the pectorals you, know, you okay. feel me like i always been a scrawny dude so i'm trying you know just get get my gains up and make sure they're the right kind of gains and not the negative ones you okay feel me? okay Nah, that's what's up. Nah, we appreciate that, man. Definitely give y'all feedback. So, about y'all fitness journey so far, if you had to give at least one piece of advice to anybody who's about to start their fitness journey, what would you say? Any, any? I mean, either one of y'all can go first. Whichever I one y'all. First. Okay. Um, I would say just just start. Don't don't be a, a type of person that says, "Oh, it's it's a Wednesday, so I gotta start on Monday." type of type of dude Mm. just if today is the day and you decide that that's what you want to do for yourself to start you know moving yourself to a better place that's that's something you should do right now it it may it i mean obviously it's almost three o'clock in the morning today don't do it at three o'clock in the morning don't go to the morning but you know know, i mean it's it's a sunday just whatever day it is just start it that day don't 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 procrastinate don't put it to the side don't don't try and let all these other outside things kind of you know deter you from what your ultimate goal is is to make yourself better so you know just just get started okay I like that. I like that. What about you, Miss um, Keith? I would say Future Mrs. Payne. Hey, hey yo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was her ring flash. Hey, y'all her, her ring hey. is on it. We'll zoom it's in, in there photo. later. Look at that. That's how I take pictures. Catch her on Instagram like this. Always. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's literally Please. how it be. Please I, tell I, the people what they need. To <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say. Um, make sure that you are consistent. Try and build consistency. I feel like that's always the biggest issue, at least in me, is consistency because we might get into this later, but I do not live a normal life. I be doing too much. I be doing a lot of things. I'm a photographer and I have a full-time job and I am trying to plan a wedding. So, you know, I be doing a lot of stuff, but, um, just try and be consistent and when you count your calories i saw this on tiktok make sure you count all of your calories Mm. so it's not just like you know you ate a burger but like if you ate like 12 chips like 30 minutes after you ate the burger make sure you count that too because that's important and that all counts and yeah were we not counting all the calories i mean i feel like some people don't be thinking about i mean not maybe not the 12 chips but like if you eat a scoop of ice cream Somebody that, might not change, right. might what? not count them. Who's not counting? I'm look, telling you. You tell me you're not counting your calories, I'm be like, <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, oh, oh. All right, you didn't count all of them. I'm up, telling like, all you, them that some people don't be counting all the calories. You, if you're not counting, especially the scoop of ice cream, <laughs> that's the one, <laughs> yeah, that's the one that you don't skip. The scoop of ice cream is, but, but like when it comes to measuring that scoop, like what you want to put? Is that a third of a cup? Is that a sixth of a cup? Is that, scoop. what is the scoop? What is the scoop? I mean, what you better put it in a cup. You better put it in yeah, that's what, but some people don't be doing that. Be like, oh, let me just get a spoonful of what is a spoonful of ice cream? What you measure? You gotta figure out what what spoon did you use. Okay, so what we're saying is measure these things out. I'm saying, but did you use a teaspoon or a tablespoon? A spoon, a regular spoon. Nah, you, there's a, spoons have sizes, China. You don't a regular, use a regular. 
Yes. What is a regular spoon? It's either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. You don't use a teaspoon or a tablespoon. We we don't, there's no such thing as a regular spoon in measurements. Hmm? What is So what is a, a regular silver the spoon? The small spoons are teaspoons and the big spoons are tablespoons. Well, you just taught me something new. <laughs> because when I... No, honestly, when I'm scooping a tablespoon, I use a little... The actual tablespoon thing that we bought from TJ Maxx. Oh, no. Mm. So, okay. I'm about to help you real quick. So, there's <laughs> spoons. So, there's, there's small spoons and big spoons. Yeah. The small ones you stir around. Those are the ones that they're actually teaspoons. You're supposed oh, to spray I, your, I your tea that. with them. And no. then the big ones are tablespoons, right? So, when you start measuring, if you scoop out, you know, it's, it's okay to scoop out a tablespoon, but you just need to figure out how much a tablespoon is in proportion to your serving size. So, that's how you measure, measure that out, right? Hey, there we go. Tablespoon. Like, what if you get All like this a, all this out. Sorry, I'm gonna move a little closer to the mic. What if you get like a big, big chunk of a scoop out of a tablespoon? What is like, it? What'd you scoop with? Like a, 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 a tablespoon. Table like I open a drawer and there's a tablespoon. Like, 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 what's the, what's the table height table. levels of that spoon? Yeah, okay, so, okay. You so me? my thing is, if you know it's in a regular tablespoon, I would just go ahead and round up to two. Yeah, my thing is, you always true. when you're talking about caloric deficit, right? You always want to be over, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so if you're if you're counting your calories, I'd rather account for two tablespoons than. You know me and have less than that, then try to account for a tablespoon and a half and only list a tablespoon. Does yeah. that make sense? That makes Too much. Sense. You always want to be over. Yes. That when, when you're tracking, you know what I mean? At least right. you know for a fact that you're you're under. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If it's a little high, you be like, okay, I'm around up yeah. to two. I'm going to enjoy this ice cream, but that's two of them things. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's okay. It's not a bad thing. I just, yeah. you know, I'm just going to make sure we record them. That's all. We cool. Well, those are some things I have to say. Okay. Shameless plugs. Look, go ahead and tell the people where they can find you, China. Where where can they find you at? Oh, um, my Instagram is made M A D E the letter N, and then C H Y N N A. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and hype her up a little bit. China right. is one of those these. Oh, the most famous photographers in the DMV, okay? So if you have a China, China is the best kind of you heard him on the radio, she put a Okay, China is friends with Wale. Literally, she can at Wale and he'll answer. Shout out to Wale, okay? Wale, follow us and listen to this podcast, okay? China, China be humble, but every time she come around us, Best concert Listen. photographer in the DMV. Working. Corey, how do you know she's the best concert photographer in the DMV? Because all the other ones said she was. Listen, <laughs> real talk. Kenny D said LeBron was better. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I at Wale, he don't answer me. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. No, but she be putting in that work oh in. Goodness. So follow her at Made in China. Anything else you want to shout out to China while you on here? You good? Um. Shout out to Reggie. Okay, shout out to Mr. Reginald Reggie. You want to go ahead and tell the people Appreciate where they can you. find you? Go ahead. No, nah, I'm not going to tell them where they can find me because okay. I don't really be on social media like hey, that. Because if you follow me, me it I'm wouldn't taking. be nothing going on. It'd just be me posting my girl. So, I mean, follow her. <laughs> Like I'll be, they I'll say, be on there. Sure. I love that plug. I'll be on there every now and then, but you know, yeah, follow her. I mean, you're gonna hey. see some some great content, some great photography. You might see a celebrity or two. You never know what you're going to see. Yeah. Don't let it tell you different, yeah. man. China, She's China. very humble. Hey. She's very humble. Engagement went viral. Uh, Listen. Shout out to Reggie me? for that. Reggie it said don't Shout out to Reggie for that. Hey, man. I mean, the fact that we got a, a comment from Xavier Omar, who was the, the artist, who was like <laughs> the creator of the song that was playing during the engagement. Mm -hmm. Damn. To me, that says hey, something. I mean, hey, that's shout, out. shout out, shout out to Xavier. Your future Omar, wife is famous locally, so that's what happens. Because I, I had... can say more, but I'm not gonna say nothing. Say because whatever you need to I say. What you gotta because say? There's a reason for that. Hold on, hold on. Say, say, what what look, we on the podcast. I might not know. Go ahead and say it. There's nothing to plug. Okay, what plug you gonna get on? I said I don't know what it is. You could just say it. I told you. Okay, come on. Tell us. Tell us. We remember that one time. My ex's friend, the Asian one. Oh, mm, uh, yes, you do. The kind Asian one that barely. like, yes, okay. Barely. His ex girlfriend mm -hmm. was the manager ish of Xavier Omar, and that's probably how he saw that. Just uh, like the fame Allegedly, but our tweet Omar. also went viral, uh, so there's no way to confirm that. Shout out to you, Xavier Omar. Right. So, so always does like I said, the juice. like I said, <laughs> she, she won't say anything else today. But um, China is very humble, and she gets very, very good exposure on all the socials. And yeah, y'all should follow her. That's how we get. Anytime we talk about China, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. She'll deny it, but yeah. Okay. My mom said, "Don't follow me, life. follow her." We was like. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's go. You hit oh, me. Man. I appreciate that. You hit me. But yeah, appreciate hey. y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming. Keep I doing y'all right. thing. I know, it's been a, I know it's been a long night, but we appreciate having y'all on the podcast. Absolutely. Man. This is cool. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Let's do the business, uh, everybody on their own time, and then finance. Everybody can just speak in on that. Okay. But before we do that, we're still going to record. We're going to take a quick intermission because Jordan and I think we broke it again. Okay. Oh, oh, no. One, one time. <laughs> Don't get a positive on No, no, nah, keep that recording. God damn. Was what did we be doing, nigga? <laughs> what happened? Nothing was important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play should be double this. fucking time. Oh, so well, if y'all, if y'all uh, can't hear it, it's kind of You said what? <laughs> If y'all can't hear us, we sound like Alvin and Chipmunks. Is it coming through here? So oh, this, I hear it. This time is double that time. If y'all did, yeah. that's what we be on. All right, so what we gonna do? We just gonna stop the motherfucker up again. And nah, it's just, I was thinking stop it and do a whole nother episode. And delete it, and then we'll combine the audio files. Well, all right. Yeah. Stop that too? No, no, keep that running. Fuck it. Just keep that running. Okay. No, no, I do this. I'll just, just nuke this and then redo it again. File, uh, export. We don't want to. Ex- you want to keep this. Do you want to? You want to have a copy of it somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can save it. I mean, yeah, they're not gonna talk again. Yeah, I'm saying, but we got the audio from them. Remember we did with the YouTube. I'm just okay. Yeah, no, can keep save save this one though. Because yeah. we about to get rid of it, right? No, yeah, keep it saved. Say, whatever you do, if you gonna get them on there, you better get them on there. Now. Yeah, because they probably get. They, look, listen, I, I pick up on social cues. <laughs> they like, I see her. She was like, look, nigga, ten minutes. We better get the fuck out of here, nigga. I don't give a fuck what they talk about. Listen, we talked about it. You better get them the hell out of office and fine. You can see that. You can see that was at 30, me, right? You know, so we'll usually kill out, it off yeah. that timer that says 41 seconds. Be, you know, but know, if that one's a mismatch, we're like, that's what we're normally looking for. I'm not normally looking at the video. I don't know what's bro. happening, bro. So what am I that's doing? Like, I'm I'm saying saying it. I just exported it. I don't know if it's exported or not. Just save it. Just save it. It's like it's an hour, so it's not even like working in the hotel. The only way I'm getting a hotel is if I drive five minutes to a hotel that's right up here. Listen, we didn't have nobody's real talk. Like, y'all can stay here and I can go home and I can come back. No, no, look at you. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying, like, you know, it's it's, 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 Yeah, DB. We gotta go meet our, we gotta go get Garvey. I, was say, I, felt, I felt like that was the main, like, you know. Concern. That's the main job, yeah. That's the main like, I don't know what's going to happen with sure you. Say, I don't we know don't say that. Don't uh, see so, whatever drive best is. case scenario, let's, let's just go. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Where is it's hot. You know. In his crate. Yeah, he's in the crate. Oh, he's in the crate. Yeah. He can be, he can be mad at shit when he, when we go on there. Like, Y'all must be in this bitch for a minute. He's gonna look at us and then Y'all not at 8.15. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Where have you been? been here for a It's episode 14, so it's not on. Nah, you didn't export. Do export again. Y'all went, y'all had a work day at night. It's gonna be no sense. Work day at night. Alright, audio next. Then change it to MG3. I'm used Bro, to 8 to 4 sick. during the day, not 8 to 4 during the night. Point, so I didn't see what you said that. We usually have fun on Saturdays. What the it's hell is this? Man. Bro, we went, sh- we went shopping. We went all over the place today. So oh. he ain't really get time out. I was like, yo, you see the test? I don't under fucking. I don't know, bro. I hit a button. I hit two buttons to hit record. Surprise, motherfuckers. We make it up for lost time. Y'all owe me some time. I'm going to be like, I better hope I don't find you at 50 and 4. So we outside, I'm running around. We outside, outside. I'm like, see, you doing you know, what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. This one won't be episode it's 14. Yeah. 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 It's one of those, you know, we'll figure it out tomorrow type of things, but we have to figure it out tonight. What do I do? I Alright, DB, y'all can put spots for Reggie and China. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, let y'all get in. You didn't get out. See how we be doing this shit live? I see. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, now just nuke this fucking shit and make it really one. Since you got so many. Got you. Oh. Is that a comfortable chair? Yeah. Like, you comfortable? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Don't worry, we got you for five minutes. And you know, y'all. Excuse me, we had to go for five fake minutes because clearly one of these things was broken. That's why when Pete was like, five minutes, I was like, yeah, it's only been two. <laughs> it it, it, it had been. Shit pisses me <laughs> All right, what's what's, what's now? Leave that running. Just leave that running. Don't you fix that? that? Nah, we're just gonna strip that. You this can't strip it with all the shit in between. No, I can cut. That's what I'm saying. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put it like this. I can edit. I'm gonna let you do this. Yeah. Time, I, keep, I don't know what the fuck I keep doing because well, so we have this thing where every time I touch the mic, it turns into Alvin and Chipmunk. So I'm gonna let Corey do it this time. <laughs> 
Or you got the magic cup? I don't. I know don't. Jordan is, does everything before. I've done all twelve episodes. Other than the this. second that button hits, the second we save and hit stop on that, that's what I do. But Jordan is a simple yeah. boy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this running so we have one video. That's then, I'll, then I'll edit it. As long as you got, bro. As long as yeah. you got the plan, you know yeah. me. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm just talking right now. I don't. I'm not thinking. So that's yeah. the other thing. Put it like this: If I stop this, then we record. I'm gonna have to merge two videos together. That's, that's harder than making one. Uh, name it whatever you want to name it, bro. Yeah. I'm split it out. I usually change it to CMB episode whatever the fuck. Uh, uh, fourteen point five or something underscore <laughs> episode fourteen point five or some shit. I don't know something that's not. Okay. Like, okay. That's, that's really make me upset. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it like this. I'm what did we do? I'll just ring it up. I named the episode and hit start. Good now. Then I, so what I do is I close the music bed one, music bed two, all the way on the left. Right click. On the dot, left, 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 right here. Yep, just click. Click, click. yep. And I name voiceover one, soundline Corey, and I name voiceover two, stop all on J. Double click. Dash four, two. Is that a dog? Or is that a key? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I don't think Tana, I don't think Tana be rocking with the dogs like that. So it's probably a kid, but let me ask. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah. 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 What's the exact truth? Right. My sister got a TV grabbing the extension. Yeah, I'll put one, I'll put two. Don't touch. I told him not to touch it. This nigga gonna crawl around to the back of the TV and touch it. So I couldn't see. <laughs> Innovation. Mm-hmm. He said I got an eye. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He Look don't him. listen. You don't think I can see? He think he's still, and he crawls so what? fast out the he camera. He's gonna crawl a, away from the camera. You don't think I can see? Like no, no, for real though. Like he was, he booked it. Like for real. <laughs> Man, I'll put one or two different guys. Hey. Can he walk? You just just me. speed crawling. Sure. <laughs> yep, you good. Hit the, hit you the see big that count. chip? Mm -hmm. He big found it. Take me out. Big report. Up top. Okay, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if you, you ever need to lead him somewhere, you just, just start talking. Stress in one, two, three. He can talk. He can talk. Mic check, mic check. A little bit louder. Mic check, mic check. A little bit louder. Oh, my goodness. What about you, Donnie? How's that? Fuck you. Oh. It's normal. So what did we do? This shit's Bruh, such a I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Would you, I don't know what you want me to. I can't. Did we ever? We didn't figure out the last one, so I don't know how to fix it. So I know the times don't match. Hmm? Yeah, we're good. All right, like I said, so I'm just gonna strip that audio file and we're gonna merge them together. But do like it. this, we're not gonna do that tomorrow. All right, we right, excuse me, real quick. This so we just know this episode don't come out till next month. Y'all know what happened. <laughs> All right, we're live and we are back. Uh, significant audio issues again. Remember when we said it was real, real fast on episode ten and we recorded like two and a half hours and it was fast the whole time. At least we fixed the thirty minutes in this time. Let's so we're go. gonna merge the audio files. The first thirty minutes is gonna be YouTube. Second ones it should be fixed. If it's not, look, man, we don't know what we're doing. All right. <laughs> So, first, first uh, guest, Fia, Jordan's wife. Second set of guests, China and Reggie, engaged couple. Third and final set of guests, I'll let them introduce themselves. But they are newlyweds. Let's go. Hold on, I'll say it, go ahead. Please tell the folks about yourself. Yeah, Who we are you like that uh, light skinned John with the chain from the uh, ETL for real? Oh, yeah. yeah, her before she got a snatch. <laughs> hey, give me my necklace. Hey. He said, T, I said, Lauren, is it? That's why I be saying people be lying. Lauren, never mind. Anyway, y'all go ahead. Uh, <laughs> My name's Victoria, but you can call me V. Okay. Hi, V. Welcome Hi. to the podcast. We appreciate you coming. I appreciate being here. Thank you, thank you. And Yo, what's good, y'all? It's D. Um, yeah, appreciate y'all for the opportunity, you know what I mean? The, the chance to slide through, see how beautiful crib, you know what I mean? Just hey. happy for y'all, bro. Welcome, Welcome to the house party. you, bro. Welcome to the house party. Welcome to the podcast, yeah. man. We got y'all kidnapping here. Look, <laughs> y'all always doing go. stuff. Live from the gutter. Oh, wait, it was a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was the guitar. 
that's not the good time. Did we just have people hilariously laughing? <laughs> All right, real quick. We were playing Taboo earlier, and the word was guitar. However, the person playing <laughs> had it was thought the word was gutter, so we was guessing like sewer, drain, etc. Then we said gutter, and he gave us the point. For <laughs> we all hate, <laughs> and then people were like, wait, that wasn't the word. He was locked in for a yeah. word that didn't exist. It's and okay. Then, and then the person buzzing was like, wait, 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 wait. Mind you, we've been arguing for an hour now. We're like, what she want now? She like, the word isn't gutter, and we're like, what word is she like? The word is good. <laughs> Listen, my man, the round before that had got four wrong in a row, so he... He needs a meal! Okay, he, yeah, it hey, was not a great round. Real, real talk, I was done with him. This is what I was ready to do. Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> it's all okay. good, though. I was ready to end him, but yeah. Okay, DMD. Let's go. Welcome. We appreciate y'all. Fitness up first. Let's go. Tell us about your fitness journey, please. Please tell us about your fitness lifestyle. Do you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll go first. Um, I, I guess I've been a, a fit person off and on my whole life, um, and I relied on the fact that I was an athlete and mm. like thought that that was fitness. You know what I mean? Like, right. Um, because it's very easy to stay in shape when you're working out five times a day because it's mandated. Listen. But mm. when you get off of that plan and you're like, wow, like there's juice and snacks and all of these things in the world. Are you a child? He's, <laughs> he's, not, he's, he's not, bro. He's not bro, bro, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> not lying, yo. Like, listen, man, when I first got to school, like, you know, in the off season, I used to like keep Gatorade and oatmeal cream pies and all of the stuff mm. that I should not eat in my closet because my mom really wasn't having that when I was little, and so I got old and I was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm on my own now, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do my thing. Doing my thing was not the best thing. You feel me? <laughs> um, hey, learn that the hard way. Um, I played ball in college for like two years and then hold on, you said ball. What kind of ball? What you play? Soccer. Okay. okay. Um, so I played soccer for like fifteen ish years. Um, played in community college, um, and so then when I stopped, you know, and I went to Bowie, um, it just kind of sort of fell off the rails for real. Um, so you know, I got big, big. Um, it happens, bro. We big, all, big. Look, we all out here eating good, you know, living good. We all like that, bro. Respect. Then I was big, big, um, and then I met Victoria. Victoria was little, little. Um, <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. But you know, I like to show my uh my queens the finer meals in life, you know what I mean? So you know What he's just... trying to say is I was a skinny girl who could eat. Okay. We tested I that. Had a, I had a big so we tested that. We tested that. Yeah, I ate a lot and wanted to eat. My all man of those said, things. Oh, you look skinny, we gonna pull up with the meals like <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, but long story short, then you know we uh started the date and happy weight and all that good stuff, and then have always worked out off and on. But I think that uh similar to uh what China and Reggie said when they came on, like finally fit was like the um catalyst for for consistency. Okay. Um, and like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Say that word again. The catalyst for consistency. Oh my goodness. Um, consistency, y'all. Because ultimately, <laughs> you know, it's it's nice if you go out every once in a while and go and run three miles. But right. it's so much better when you run three miles three times a week. Okay. Um, or you know, you in the lab, you in the gym, you with people that are that are pushing you and and you like and are holding you accountable for the things that you do. Um, so I think that you know the really the pandemic has kind of like got me back into the mindset of like. Not just working out because I think it's the right thing to do, but like kind of sort of owning that portion of my fitness journey mm -hmm. um, and like pushing myself um, and like not from a motivation perspective, but from a discipline perspective um, to be like, nah, we got to lock in. We got to get this work. Got you. No, we definitely love to hear it, man. It's, motivation is cool. It'll get you where you need to go for the day, but discipline will get you where you need to go, you know, continuously. Right. It'll put, the, it'll put a different style of results on you. Right. What's, what's the quote for the day, Corey? I was going to say your quote, train the mind, the body will follow. Hey, I like that one Let's too. Let's be clear. My bars be on deck. So I got two quotes on accident. Again, the caption, I be turning captions into graphics. Okay. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. The original quote is, I don't know, because I just made it the day. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it up. Oh, I said the results you get from being motivated are not the same results you get from being disciplined. However, I also said in the caption for that graphic, I said, you're at where you're at because you were ran out of motivation and you didn't build the habits to stay disciplined. Okay. 
Or maybe, I don't know. Look, at, look, look, at, the, look, look at the graphic. <laughs> look, follow him on Instagram at sideline underscore for you, okay? It's on there. And oh, he, he's, 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 he's killing it. It's okay. 4 a.m. almost. Listen. And we're going to record in about six hours again <laughs> for generational wealth. I'm going to be putting that work. Putting in that work. There you go. So for the next section, y'all. So y'all told us about y'all fitness journey. Yeah. Wait, you didn't yeah. tell us about your fitness journey. Oh, 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 oh sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, ladies. Uh, let yes. me bring that. No, hold on. Let me, let me, yeah, let me bring back. Put that back. We are abusing that one today. <laughs> please tell us which, about your fitness journey, please. Um. So, I didn't really have one. I told Ruben when we first started dating that I didn't do sweat. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. and i was very serious which is silly because when i was in high school i like i don't think i realized that i was working out um but i you know whatever anyways like i guess one of my told him i didn't do sweat and one day drew said we're going on a run and i said why and <laughs> and he said because you can do it and i was like i don't know so you what? And, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that's cold for it. Oh, hello. Right. Okay, so y'all said I'd be talking fast and stuttering. Right. She intentionally didn't say words you could understand. At least I'd be actually saying English words. She said, I'm We were living in Philly and in South Philly, and he was like, We're just gonna go. And I got about, I don't even know if I made it a half mile. And I was like, I can't. Like, I, I'm not, and he said, he was pissed. Like, we walked the rest of the way home, and I knew he was mad because he didn't talk to me. And I was like, well, but I sat there for a while, and I felt guilty. And it was, like, the first time I had felt guilty over something as stupid as sweating in my mind back then. And um, and I came to him later that night, and I said, I, I shouldn't have quit on that run. And he said, well, you shouldn't have. We're going to go again. So I went. On another run what the next day maybe then I don't know it was the next, next day yeah, yeah. The next day next two days and um, this time I got to a mile but I, as I got to that mile in the streets of Philadelphia I threw up okay, okay. and um, yeah, I, why did you throw up I threw up and I, and I threw up because I like why like literally why probably because stupidly I ate an orange before I didn't know how to work out I just told you I didn't sweat so I didn't know what to do. So anyway, so I threw up and he looks back and he like catches me mid hurl. And I'm like, but I didn't stop. <laughs> and <laughs> he was like, you didn't. And we walked the rest of the way home. And from then I've run pretty consistent, consistently since then. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yes, that's great to hear. Yeah, so I think D because I I think like for myself it was like a mindset of like I didn't have in my mind I didn't have the capacity to be disciplined. I didn't have the capacity to be consistent. Hold on, hold on, just... hold on, hold on. Everybody's got to say them words again. <laughs> no, y'all not playing me. Y'all not playing me. I didn't have the capacity to be capacity to be consistent or um, disciplined. Like I thought that just wasn't something for me because I told myself it wasn't for me and then after like running and then in addition i like to do yoga so that and then coupled with like finally fit now i just think of movement as medicine like okay. i can't really Ooh. like if i am i i'm pregnant i'm what am i 18 weeks pregnant today and in my first trimester i was like i couldn't like i just couldn't i couldn't fucking do it like if i got if i did yoga once a week it was good for v and um I felt like I was depressed. Like I was depressed. So now I know that like moving is a part of like my mental health. It's as much a part of my mental health as it is like my physical health. And when I'm not moving consistently, um, I don't even have to move fast. I don't have to like beat a record for myself. I don't have to beat a PR like every every time. But if I'm not moving consistently at least three times a week, I'm like not feeling myself. And PR, by the way, stands for personal record. Oh yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. We got you. <laughs> Shout out to B, yo. She be putting in right. that. B almost work. done her 35. I was going to ask Listen. you, are you still moving out here? Because she got 30, I'm almost 35 miles in. I know yeah. you're modest. I'm going to plug you in because you're not going to plug you in. Look, <laughs> yeah. B be putting in that work. Okay? That work. We got a finally fit challenge where we're trying to get 35 miles in this month. She is almost done. Yeah. And she is carrying a whole nother life. So right. that being said, what is your excuse? Yeah. Okay? For, hold on. For you now working out, sons of out here. You shouldn't have been talking shit. 
Listen, she's a pregnant woman out here doing it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. She running, running. Okay? Yeah, I put, in, I put in about three miles at least every time. I try not to do less than three. Um, not to say that you have to do three like your first try, but just run for myself. I love it. It's like a, it's like a meditation for me now. So Tuesday, Thursday, those are our days. It's 3 a.m. now, so I don't know what the hell we're going to do tomorrow morning. <laughs> But I have to run tomorrow because I didn't run today. So that's that's, so that's that's just how it works out. Right. We all gonna be up there hurling and, and running. Yep, it's okay. And We're running. Talk, you know it's tired because I said it was four a.m. It's just three thirteen. Who's gonna let you run? It's your podcast. Your podcast. No, 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 no. Jordan and I did that for the first few episodes. We just let each other hang a drive. Please, please correct us. Correct us. Yeah, now we gotta do the clean up next episode. It's four a.m. No, our error, my errors log from an investment episode is like. I messed up like 10 times, so please. <laughs> <laughs> like to clear things up. Also, do not overexert yourself to the point where you throw yeah, up on your yeah, first yeah, run. To clear, it's Listen. okay. We, we just do this for our sake. But yes, it's okay just to start out like half a mile. Don't do what V did in the sense of you run your mile with your husband and you throw up. It's okay yeah. if you don't do that for your first run. Yeah, I'm, also just don't eat a fucking orange that's before it. you <laughs> run. You know what I mean? Like, don't be stupid. Like, don't eat. Yeah, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. eat before oh, yeah. you run. Oh, go ahead. Do that. Because V was out here like this. <laughs> she said she earned off a mile. I really is. did one mile. I don't even know if we made it a mile. I'm like, also going to tell y'all not to eat. Oh my goodness. So don't go heavy when yeah. you are either. That's, 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 our, that's our disclaimer yeah, to save us and I was going to save y'all. But yeah, it's okay not to run the mile off rip so you don't throw up. We do not promote throwing up. Right. No, 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 no. It wasn't fun, guys. It wasn't yeah. like a fun, it wasn't meant to be a fun yeah. story. I just um, kept going. That's, yes, that's what she's saying. There we go. That's not finally fit 06 approved. We promote that self This was before I met Jordan. This was before I met Jordan. This was a personal anecdote. This was a personal anecdote. I've never thrown up from a Jordan workout. Everything has been so upsetting. I appreciate the disclaimer. You realize, how, you realize how fast you talk on a podcast? It's like, all right, let me double back to make sure I. <laughs> That's what we have our area. Only thing we want to throw up to Jordan at, at the end of a uh, finding fit workout is the middle finger sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I, I tell them this all the time. Shout out to the fit fam. I'm going to plug y'all because y'all here in real life. You know what I mean? I, I'm just got to, you know, talk about y'all metaphorically anymore. But no, nah, <laughs> we, we be getting that work in. And I, I was like, look, if y'all don't hate me a little bit at the end of the workout, then I'm not doing my job, right? As your trainer, you, you should hate me just, just a little bit, right? It's my job to get on your nerves and push you past your comfort zone, right? You shouldn't be doing things that you're used to doing or else I'm I'm not, I'm not giving you the right workout, right? I'm not pushing you just a little bit further. So it's, it's okay. I'm okay with being that guy, right? Exactly. Yeah. Respect. I don't, yeah, I don't mind. If I don't, I'm not, I don't want to like you during right. the workout. I appreciate that. I don't want to like you. If the, then it was too easy. Right. Yeah. And if you come to me at the end and like, you know, nah, I, I got plenty of breath. Like, I'm like, nah, I got to go back to the drawing board. I got to pull up my whole whiteboard and my formulas <laughs> and my workouts and everything. I'm nah, we need more shorter breaks. We need more exercises. Yeah. We need all that stuff. All right. And D's like the shit talker at the end or the beginning of a workout. I love it like, though. I'm like, you just want to do it. An extra finisher. You just want to put the class through some it's shit. That, it's that like motivation, like Fat Amy and uh, Pitch Perfect, where she got the little burrito behind her jump. <laughs> like, it fuels my fire. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Like, yeah. Gotcha. All right. It's okay. Look, but guess what? Tonight, tonight is a Saturday night. It's Sunday morning now, but Monday yes. I got them. We, look, we gonna look. I got some new toys for the for the workout. Yeah, we gonna get it in. It's going. Nobody in here is happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> So, I be having fun yeah, though. It's, it's a good time. I, right? yeah, he I keyword is I. I be having fun. We the person that's rendering himself. Fit fan be getting it in. All right. So we know y'all have to go. So we get y'all. See now we know how much how much long how long y'all been on here. Sixteen okay. minutes. Okay. All right. So we gonna switch. Yeah, I was gonna say any anything else y'all want to share about your fitness journey? Right. Any new developments in life, or y'all just want to plug yourselves in? Uh, I would say. Uh, your fitness journey is always more fun when you have partners to do it with. Oh, I like that. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Yeah, real life. Because, I mean, listen, it. one of the things about this, this beautiful bundle of joy that 
stinks is like I've lost my partner in crime mm. as it relates to like mm. the fun that we're like that was that was one of the first things like for the past couple like for the first couple of weeks that was like very difficult for me I was just like yo like my homie's not with me like because usually when we in the trenches on that Monday and Wednesday like we Thugging. she would bring that energy and sometimes it'd be like oh yeah that's my man's like right there she's right there bro like right we we in it Thank um you. They, and they, like for y'all who don't know, their core is tight. Yeah, like they, have, they, have, they have the, they have the, the highest core of everybody, even more than Jordan. Core of yeah. steel. Yeah. Three I'm minutes. The, I'm the trainer. They beat me <laughs> for the core assessment. I'm like, God, man. what are y'all doing? I'm here, y'all. Like, let me get my head right. Is, is, that, that, how the, is that what y'all? Is that how the baby got yeah. here? Y'all wasn't <laughs> <doing it? laughs> y'all wasn't down there doing the plates. Hey. Wait, we need, no. let me time it up right. We need 17, that's 17 minutes. That's yeah. another 45 minutes that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am. Um, I will say though, just going off of like the core thing, I think the only reason D and I are able to hold a plank that long, it's all mental. It's like, mm. we literally, one, we're both really, we're really freaking competitive. Very. Like we're competitive in our relationship. So like, <laughs> so when we're, when you say three minutes, Oh, it's three minutes. Like, there is no, like, Mm -hmm. less than three minutes. So, for me, for my last fitness tidbit would be, like, it's mind over everything. It's more mental than it is physical. Like, your body's going to have the reaction of, like, oh, I'm dying. I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. But you can do it. If you are going to pass out, you're going to, you know, like, your body's going to give out if it's going to give out. Like, just keep going, you know? I definitely appreciate you talking to people that it's it's a physiological reaction, guys. If you're gonna pass out, you don't have enough time to realize you're gonna pass right. out. Your body's just gonna do it. <laughs> yep. Okay. So that being said, if you have enough time to think about passing out, you can probably go another thirty seconds. You'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I just wanna, um, real quick, how many times have I heard the word consistency and discipline, or uh, mindset, or as I call it, mental makeup? All right. I'm gonna rewind back to the rewind. So I'm continue. I just want to say because I you know I be on here. You know, damn, I'm still a little bent. <laughs> I'll be on here turned up, but like, it's not just me, y'all. How many times are your consistency, discipline, mindset? Daruba brought it up about the partnership, team built. Team. It's all about the team. What's the yeah, team look like, yo? Like? See, I'm lit because generational wealth is up next, and I'm literally choosing violence off rip. So <laughs> I'm just going to pass the mic back. There we go. <laughs> Put in that work though, but no, we definitely appreciate y'all coming on a podcast. You want to tell people where they can find y'all? You know what I'm saying? I'm like Reggie. I don't. I'm like not on social media. You can find me at my house. Um, <laughs> okay. No, you can't. No, no, right. Don't put that I'm on. Just, there. I'm not obviously gonna not be my address, but that's where I'm at. My house. I'm never on social. I'm never on anything. Um, you might want to let the fans know you have fans. Whoa! Oh, oh, hey, whoa. Hey. Hey. Is that an argument on the call right now? Hey. 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 She definitely has fans though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She used to do cooking. So you got fans. Yes, yeah, she has fans. And like, she, Listen, she you cast the first stone. <laughs> really got all the <laughs> Like that is how that works. So you used to cook on live. Yeah, I did. I used to cook on live, but. I remember, I remember the rice right. cooker. Oh, like just the same people, like the same fifteen people. Would that's, that's fifteen. Yeah. I used to I've never there. had fifteen. I've never had bars. We went live. Guess there. who checked in? Fia. Don't count. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Two. And one of them was me. Look at that. We had finally fit in. And Fia and right. Right. same account, same person. He's like, I think maybe we'll go back to. Uh, maybe I'll go back to cooking on live. If that's the case, at v dot goins v e dot g o i n s. I gotta change my name because my name last name isn't Goins anymore. Hey. Oh, All right. Hold on. What an yeah. Hey. 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 Say it one more time. What's your last name? Glover. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? Yeah. 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 And guess what? Yeah. Donald don't got shit to do with it. You feel it? You hear me? You hear me? I love it. Yes, sir. You see it. All right, D, you going to tell the people where they can follow you? Listen, I'm in the back cave, yo. Like, if you see me, you see me. If you don't, <laughs> that is that's a unfortunate. Note, <laughs> um, <laughs> they don't have so they got. Nah, I'm just playing. They got them. But nah, listen, here's the thing. thing. I, and this is, this. I guess, is a conversation that we can continue at a later time. But social media is a trap. No, um, I like, I I like re- it. And I realize that I'm not mature enough at this point in my I'm life not, for social media. Ready. Because there's so much shit on social media, you know what I mean? Right. Like, so in order to keep myself from the abyss, although I have it, I'm like very 
detach from our shit. Um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't people out here that can enjoy that responsibly. I'm just not one of those people. <laughs> no, yeah. I, that's, that's I appreciate that response. That's, so that's, a, that's a very uh, responsible, mature response. Um, that being said, I, I completely agree with you. It's, it's up to the mental makeup of the person, right? Mm-hmm. You got to be able to, I'd say protect your spirit, right? Mm-hmm. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. Always, it's just taken in and transferred, right? So if yeah, you can't mm-hmm. take it in and, and, and handle that responsibly, then don't take it in. Is yeah. that Newton's first law of motion? Say again? Mm-hmm. Is that Newton's yeah. first law of motion? Yeah. It's the first one. It's, it's, I, I, it's, it's, I believe so. It's, it's definitely a law. It's one of those laws. Oh the go. second one is force equals mass. Don't get a whole bunch of IT people here talking about physics. We can Google it for you. Hey, you not get it started. Not at 3.30 in the morning. Reggie said no. Okay, he said it's over with. But nah, I definitely appreciate y'all. What is Newton's first law? Yo, also, I don't know. Like, something that we can do in the future is, like, if y'all go live with Finally Fit, bro, we can all hop on and do, like, a joint live, John. So we definitely thought about it, bro. I'm not against it. The only thing I think about sometimes is if we do lives for the workouts, it's not oh, fair to you. some of the people who pay subscriptions. Oh, no, no. I ain't even talking about the workers. I'm talking about, like, these conversations. Oh, oh we yeah, yeah, about yeah. That you want to talk about house stuff. Yeah, because it's, it's tough as hell to rap with y'all, man. I, I miss this shit. Yeah, I'm, oh, listen, yeah. I'm, I'm with this shit yeah, all yeah. the time. You know what I'm saying? Anytime y'all want to rap, y'all just want to do it in person other yeah. than group chat, we can do this. Put man. it like this. The goal is to eventually get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube so we can go live and record a podcast. Yeah, However... If you don't follow us, <laughs> yeah. so please, that doesn't help us out. We always going to do the shameless plug. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. That's Corden, N-F-E at gmail.com, right? That, no, no. Not how you, no, mm. no, you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come to the mic, Corey. Where can you follow us at? You said, please follow us on YouTube. They gave us our, e- they gave our email. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm drunk. Where, where can they follow us at, Corey? It's Corden Info Effect on YouTube. Okay, and I can't say this will be in the show notes because the show notes are on YouTube, so you're already there. So if you're there, hit the subscribe button, comment, like, share. (laughs) Subscribers is 324 in the morning. I apologize for getting ours. Jordan said, Jordan said, you know where to find us. If you're here listening to us, he said you can follow us on YouTube at quarter and at gmail.com. That's our email. I know how that works. Okay. (laughs) Oh my goodness. I know how that works. Okay. All right, All right, we're going to wrap up. Open. You open. Yeah, so do you guys have any, any last words, DMV, just to make sure? No. Okay. Sean, Reggie, you guys ready? Oh, I thought they were talking about finance. Can we, so we're going to do an open forum for finance. Can I press the money yeah, button? Same, we, we don't do that no more. No, then remember, we changed it. This, this it's a different thing. Okay. All right, y'all. We now are going to transition to the finance yeah. section of the, of the podcast. What we're going to do is we're going to do something a little different than we usually do. We're going to do like an open forum section. So all of our couples that have been contributing to the podcast thus far are just going to contribute at will to the finance section. Okay. We're going to talk about how our money is. All right. Let's get it. Oh. Drive. You ready? Oh, you want me to drive? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm okay. in the back seat. I've been driving for 30 minutes. Let's get it. You can keep your headphones on. You're gonna switch seats. Bet. Okay. In all honesty, Jordan was driving for this <laughs> the first time we freestyled this. Oh my goodness. Is it still playing? Oh, we gotta stop it. I'm about to say, what the hell is that? Yes. Okay, we are on to the finance section. <laughs> okay, real quick, this is what we're gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna set a time for 28 minutes because people complain that these are too long. Okay, so I'm gonna mention it's 3 28 in the morning. We exactly. Got to go. Set a timer for 28 minutes. Okay, 28 minutes. Hey, okay, that's how long this will be, and then we'll be done. Because um, I'm staying here because we got to do generational wealth in the morning, but the rest of these Negroes got to go home. There you go. <laughs> if they choose to, excuse me, but they want to. They just are loving family members and decided to stay and help us out. We appreciate y'all and your time. Oh my goodness, Corey, you said you're 28 minute timer. You're just burning the time. This is really how I beat y'all live. 27 <laughs> minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Corey likes it. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like to, um, what is it? Uh, hear yourself talk. Okay, first, first uh, finance pay, question. Right? No. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so real quick, we're going to get into decorum. If y'all got something to say, please step into the mic and say your piece, please, because we can't catch all the you know, yeah. feedback. Can y'all hear me if I talk like this? Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can hear you. It's just not, I mean, put it like this. Obviously, it's closer when you're, you know, it's better when you're this close. Right. It's all, no, it's all I'm just you. a little curious. Put it like this. The more you want your point to be heard, the closer you need to get to the mic. Yeah, if not, you know, just lean towards 
Okay. So first fitness, uh, excuse me, finance question. Because normally I say the fitness questions. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't say about the finance questions. Ladies, how do you feel when it comes to merging finances and a marriage? You're married. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, preparing for it when you're engaged, China. Um, D and I purchased a house together after, how long were we together when we purchased our first house? Uh, maybe two years? Yeah, I think, that. yeah, I think we were together for two years when we purchased our first house. So the merging of fin finances has always been like kind of a thing for us. I mean, we just knew that we wanted to get married. We knew we wanted to be together. So like the merging of the money was like not really... A problem for me I mean also I was very spoiled at the beginning of our relationship I was like a fucking artist and just do fucking free-for-all and Daruba was like working his ass off um, so oh, right I was gonna <laughs> hit a button <laughs> that's really great yeah, yeah. Um, so I had I got to like be a creative and um, not work like I, I did work <laughs> on the side eventually because he was like this is we've got a year no um wait what do better. um because it was my morale was low you know what i mean okay. like but i think um anyways so i think as far as like the merging of finances goes like i'm not tripping about it we have separate bank like we have separate bank we have separate accounts and we have joint accounts okay so like how we typically handle it is like d d typically pays for house and all those things i get food and any other extra shit that comes along the way and i also contribute the most to our savings okay um and that's just like how we handle it and we just know that like you know god forbid something we've also talked about like god forbid something happened we know where everything's gonna go but we definitely need a will because we have a house right 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 so generational wealth up next <laughs> you're on that life insurance policy though i am on the life insurance oh, yeah, uh, he's go. also hey, like who? i have life insurance with my job i don't have an extra policy he's he's my beneficiary on that mm -hmm. um but like we have a kid on the way too so we just have to i think we have to tighten the range just a little bit but we be wild. Yeah, we be wild sometimes. Yeah, we be wild sometimes. Um, <laughs> At least y'all both know. It's all yeah, 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 we be wild sometimes. But like, we're, I mean, like, we just purchased our second home. So we're like waiting for our money to like stabilize because mm -hmm. that shit is stressful. We got a wedding that is like a ton, ton of Yeah. Money. Weddings are stupid. Don't mm -hmm. have one. Like, have a small one, you know? Everything I say is being validated right now. Which one do you want? <laughs> like, I don't know why. You already know what it is. <laughs> Go ahead and say, say that again. Say one more time. About weddings, weddings are stupid. Have a small one. And don't let any, like, of your family convince you that you need something bigger than you actually um, need. Because we ended up getting married in our house. And it was beautiful and gorgeous and so loving. But, like, I also, we also have, like, a big family thing, um, which we're very grateful for. But also, at the same time, it's a huge money suck. And we constantly talk about what we could have used that money for it it'll probably be like till the day we die we will talk about what we could have used the 20 something odd grand that will be spent on other people eating and drinking that was spent before the pandemic happened so mm -hmm. like now there's like what was for 200 people is now for 50 people right so it's even worse so like just don't get caught up with a fucking wedding it's not it's not that deep if your love if your love runs deep enough you don't need a big flashy thing your family will tell you you do, though, so. I'm going to be very, very clear. Corey has been validated on the episode when I talked about what you should do for a wedding. The first thing I said was what? Don't have one. <laughs> Real talk. He's hey, look, lying. I may be single, but never mind. Look, I'll go ahead and validate that for, for Mr. and Mrs. Stalin on this podcast. We had we had the, the small wedding. And the end result of not having said wedding is the house that it's we said house that you seen this <laughs> literally it's, oh, it's either the wedding or the down payment like and, true. And, you know there it's a good time don't get me wrong but you know what I mean it's a lot of funds so it's six hours yeah, yeah. oh hell no then it's, it's six hours for other people yeah. that's what you oh, gotta think about like, what's twenty what's twenty six thousand divided by six. Oh, that's, that's a little over four. <laughs> four that's forty five hundred dollars an hour. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. I also think too for those out there being like, I've got a parent who's gonna pay for it. 
You think that shit's cute until you're indebted to somebody Jesus for Christ. such Ooh. a long, for such a one long period of time and to a really, really important event in your life. Like it's really only between you and another person. And so like you're thinking like, let someone pay for it. Like they're, you know, it's fine. They want it, they'll pay for it, whatever. It's not, take it from me, it's not worth it. Like it's just not Worth it. Yep. When Corey said you want to know when you know in-law financial issues show up at the wedding again, who, who gave a damn if I'm single or not? Listen to what the hell I'm saying. Y'all gonna be out here struggling, and I'm gonna be laughing at y'all in ten years. I'm gonna be laughing. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go. I know it. Real talk. I mean, this is this is insanity. But this is there's no prep work for this. They we may be family, but there's still no prep no, work for this. No. <laughs> all right. So all right. Are you good on that, B? Yes, I'm good. We appreciate it. Do you have anything to say? I think it was, it the, was ladies the ladies' question. Yeah, ladies' question. Oh, it's yeah. for me, huh? Yes, yes, yes Miss Miss um, Key, Miss Keys, Miss Miss Future, whatever. What do you go by now? My name is China. Fiance. <laughs> you go by Fiance. fiance. I, go, fiance. I go by Fiance and I go like this. China with a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. how it goes. So um, this is, yeah. Okay, you remember the question? Yeah. How okay. do I feel about merging finances? There we go. Um, from your perspective. From though. my perspective, so my situation is a little interesting. Um, I purchased the house at twenty three. Um, and I live with my mother and my That's two a sisters. Round of applause. That's a round okay. Of applause. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. We got equity building that generational wealth. Right. China's gonna be back on the podcast, so I'm not, pre I'm, not pre I'm not pressing on information. Uh, so, yeah, so um, I bought my first house at 23, um, but my mother and my sisters live with me. Um, my mother and myself are pretty much the main people that foot the bills. So although I'm not in a marriage, I kind of understand the same type of merging finances. Um, and I'm sure it's different once you're married, but I can understand the same, like, we need to put certain portions of our paycheck in an account to pay for the home bills. And that's how we've been working for the past four years. And from my conversations with my fiance and just the way my mind works, that makes sense. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's still merged. I feel like we're still merging because, you know, you have one singular account that goes into everything that pays for the house and then like we said like having separate accounts where you can excuse me do what you want to do with that money is fine as long as you know your partner knows unless it's something like extravagant or whatever like make sure they know but like um in my mind i've just always been like it's not that big of a deal it's not that crazy i feel like communication is key when it comes to a relationship and if y'all not communicating about finances i guess i understand why 50% of marriages end in divorce because of finances. I'm just, I, I put some emphasis on it. Say with your chest. Communication is key Please. when it comes to relationships. Finances are a part of a relationship. So if you're not talking about your finances with your partner that you're going to be with for the rest of your life, I can understand why finance and money is the biggest reason that people get divorced and china when you say you're talking about finances with your who with your who with your partner no but you, what is he right now yeah. he is my fiance, fiance. He's going fiance. To be my husband. what if, what again i'm Love getting him. i'm getting like hold on where's it at you are where's vegeta at it's over nine thousand. the first 13 episodes are being insanely validated right validated. now don't get on the same page with finances with your spouse get on the same page with finances with your fiance what the hell do y'all want from me y'all gonna be broke and i'm gonna be hollering in 10 years please continue china yeah i mean so it, as far as i'm concerned and from what we have discussed so far we still have more things to talk about but like merging finances makes sense to me because we have to we have to pay for the mortgage. We have to pay for all the electric, gas, cable, phone, bill, all of that. We, we're gonna have to pay for that together. So let's calculate and do the math to figure out what portion makes sense for you, and what portion makes sense for me, put it in the joint, and that's it. <laughs> that has never not made sense to me. It, and you know, if, if I make less than you, if you make less than me, okay, so you put a little bit less in, because that makes sense, because that's logical. 
Uh, so yeah. you believe in percentage-based contribution? I absolutely believe in percentage-based contribution. Jordan just made that up on the spot. I'm going to tell you right now. Do not, <laughs> but do not Google, I, I'll Google. I'll look it up, but hey, don't look up percentage-based contribution. I don't know if that's a thing. He said percentage-based <laughs> contribution. I don't, I mean, the whole, we, I asked Corey and Jordan to talk about this a couple episodes ago, but the whole, like, your husband is supposed to pay for everything. I just don't agree with that because it doesn't make any logical sense, especially if I'm making a large amount of money. All right, do you, okay, since you said it, the cancel this episode, that first question for the finance section, that TikTok, that's all China. So if in the future, black women trying to come and cancel me, it is 100% China's fault. However, I, I named, got in an argument with a black woman about it, so. Yeah, what China was in the comment section deep. However, I mean, <laughs> one, I named the episode cancel this so you can so you can find it <laughs> easily. And also, two, I do this in real life. Y'all do not want this smoke. I'm embarrassed everybody. <laughs> Look, see, I got the generational wealth prep in my head. I'm not going to drop no numbers right now at all. But in short, if you want a black man who is single and makes six figures, you're insane. They don't exist. Next, next. I guess I'm doing the questions. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say now, if it was evenly distributed amongst all the states, guess how many men there'd be? 20,000. If you want that man to be black, single, six figures, and six feet, 3,000. Don't play with me. I'm going to hurt everybody's feelings in the morning. Don't play with me. Uh, don't go. play with me. Don't play go. with me. I have one last thing about merging finances. I would say, like, talk, even if you're in a good... They're like, damn! <laughs> yeah, he went, he went in. Um, I, I in just the world. Say, yeah. <laughs> That's six feet and below. <laughs> I just would say, um, if for... Both parties, so like, in. talk Yo, about sweet. the... Talk about the end, like, the potential end or the if what if we weren't together when you're fine because like we talked we talked about that often it didn't lead to fucking fights or anything because when you're good and happy and you know boot up you're like yeah well if we broke up this is what would make sense to do not that we want this to happen blah blah if you can't have that rational conversation with your partner i think like do some do some self searching hey man if you prep for the end it might not come right if you prep for the end it might not come Jesus Christ, Listen. Jordan, did you? Listen. All right, we both, get, hold on. We're for that again. It's over I want to be very, very clear. Wait till we get our 15 seconds. I'm not even recording any new episodes. We, we have been validated. Can I ask, do the married people in here have a prenup? Uh-oh. Um, go ahead, Jordan. No, go ahead, y'all go. Ladies so first, yeah. So I, we, don't, um, we don't have a prenup, but we've discussed prenups Our before. marriage is like a bitch with our ass. We ain't got shit. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah like we got, like, we, got, we got married because I I said, babe, I'm pregnant. We need to do something so I can still fit in my dress. Um, so we so like things happen like kind of fast for us. Yeah. Um, so we yeah. don't have a prenup, but we talked about prenups extensively, and both of us were like totally fine with it. So would we get a post up? I I think we'd be fine with it if we needed it. But we've already talked about it. Like if something were to happen, you just the joint accounts get split down the middle. If we'd sell the house and split that shit down the middle and. We'd be done with it 50 50. Just go walk away with what you have in your own accounts. And so, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would let you have all the bread and I'd start over. We'd, we'd, oh. we'd, we'd, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl. Girl, girl, this is going to be on the internet forever. Yeah, you, are you sure you want to buy with that? Is that what you said? Because, uh, like this, if, if she pulls this up in court, hey, he, I mean, listen, I'm admissible. Yeah, but also, like, that's the, that's going to be the mother of my kid. So, like, I could. I'm I'm okay. I'm with you. I, you like, said well, I support since they did. I'm like I'm saying, saying, like you know, you need okay, maybe maybe. Other maybe maybe had him on Thursday before the paycheck hit, and he, he'll he'll you got it, you got it. Yeah, so like I, I got just, something. Yeah, I truly oh believe God. that like Thank I would you. be fine. Like I could like start a like I could go get an apartment tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like if I really needed to, mm -hmm. but like the the most important thing, especially if you have a family, is that like my my child life should be unchanged. Okay. Straight like that. Ooh. So like, and ultimately, can you push the button? Which, which, which one? 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 Probably more than likely going to be like the the per or the person that my kids mm -hmm. latch onto. So like it don't it don't fucking matter what the hell happens. Like that woman needs to be good because that woman is the matriarch. That woman is everything. 
the foundation, the reason, the reason that we here. And she, I mean, not we, but like, like my kids, my family, all of that. So like, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what this woman does. At the end of the day, she needs to be good because my kids need to be good. And she is the vessel that delivered these kids to Can you call my father from 15 years? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tyler, this is on internet. This is on internet. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Tyler, you good? <laughs> this is on internet. <laughs> I know you feel. I know you watch. I know. I mean, I share my ten cents on it. I like. I'm not gonna sit here and like reject all of that, all of that, because that is true. We we're gonna have children soon, but I do think that shit can get murky real quick, and you know, like if things go sour, things get pretty murky. That's true. So, um, I think our baseline, if the if all the love went out the window. Then our baseline would be just split everything in half. That that's that would be my response. Just split everything in half. Yeah. But there you go. You see, this conversation is like a good example of yeah. why you should sit down, and have a conversation, and, and good spirits. Why yeah. you still know? Yeah, I feel it. Because we're not fighting. We're, we're not, not mad at each other saying right. anything. Right. Well, real quick though, before Jordan, before Jordan gets in, I said I said the same general thing. Why am I gonna strip everything from my wife or ex-wife in this case, or she strip it from me? It's for the kids. The the wealth is for the kids. But y'all know y'all know nothing about that generational wealth. I should be broke. Who's an idiot? Me? No. I'm joking. It was a sarcastic. I know. Hey, look. Hey, people don't be prepping for that worst case. But Jordan's gonna get in because we had this prenup question. So Jordan's gonna. I guess, who knows? He's a little intoxicated now. So be careful. We already had to. We already got to reach up and edit this. So please don't mess up too bad. We'll be alright. So okay. That being said, um, I'm gonna follow it up. So my wife and I we're we're married. We we um we had we have a prenup. Uh it is in effect. Okay, you don't need to talk into the mic because you know okay, what we, we have, have to we do. Have a <laughs> we have a prenup is in effect. Um that being said, um all assets and debt I mean I talk about the details, all assets and debt that were obtained prior prior to the marriage are owned by the individual and then all assets and debt obtained since uh, the date of marriage are now shared so that would be a uh, split down right. the middle but that being said we have a lot not a lot but some clauses in our prenup so we have um prenups can be constantly updated i don't know if y'all are mm -hmm. you know so yeah. there's it's an initial agreement but it's ongoing you can always update it anytime you have a third party notary as long as they sign off on it it is the newest update of the prenup right so i don't I mean, you call it a post note. That's you know, it's an ongoing contract. That's basically how it goes. I meant like if you didn't have one before you got married, you could always do like a post nuptial right. tracking. Okay, yeah. So we, I guess, yeah, we can continue it and call it a post nup. Um, any updates, we would call it post nup, right? So, um, yeah, we we have one. Um, all as well because we didn't. I mean, let's be honest, we didn't have shit before we got married. I was just so say the debt the debt's gone and the car's paid off. You don't yeah. want the car anyway. <laughs> right. so, there, there was nothing before we got married, so everything we build now is obviously split down the middle. Um, but we have several clauses, including and, and it's not that we're worried about these things. But the best thing I like about a prenup is it's made when both of you guys are um, still positive toward each other. You're still in good intent toward each other. That's why I think most couples should get a prenup because I've seen it firsthand with my parents. My wife's parents are divorced. Uh, both of them have been married 30 plus years. That, 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 I'll be completely honest with you. That shit gets ugly when, when you get divorced, especially when you've been married that long, right? Um, you, you go for, it's almost for blood, right? Like, and I, I've seen, <laughs> I hate to say it, I love my mom, but I've, I've seen her scrape from the bottom to, you know what I mean, to get back to where she is today. Shout out to her. But, you know what I mean, shit got ugly when, when my dad left, you know what I mean? And that, that being the case, you, you want to make sure that you are protected. So that being, you know, having witnessed that right firsthand, I made sure that my wife and I are protected and her best interest is set forth in, you know, in writing, certified by a third party prior to um, that incident happening. And let's be, let's be honest, you, you, you make a prenup with the intent of never having to use it, right? Because if we execute, you know, our, our financial plan and our, our goals accordingly and just, you know, enjoy life and marriage, we should never have to use a prenup. But it's always a just-in-case clause. Like, I don't ever have to worry about when we get to court, um, you know, how things are going to play out because we already decided when we still loved each other. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. all those things... Are pretty much worked out including inheritance um including property obtained during marriage including um like i said assets and debt um just all all those things right we, we talked about all of that and we have them uh, labeled under individual um sections so that being kids that being said you just want to make sure that you you take care of all that stuff update it frequently if you have some type of large um 
uh, quality of life change where you, you need to update those sections, but you just want to make sure that you, you, you know, you take care of each other. Um, I think the, I don't want to say the biggest one, but one of the ones you just want to make sure is like, so we have an, an infidelity clause. And I was about to ask if you had yeah. an infidelity I clause. I was like, I was waiting. Shout out to my legal team, okay? I, she knows who she is. I would say it's one person. It's, it's a single person, <laughs> and she may or may not be related to me, but shout out to my legal Jesus team. Jesus Christ. Okay? I, plug, I don't give a fuck. No, I'm just saying that she said, she said she may or may not be hey, related to me. She need to be doing the work, okay? Shout out to her, but she keeps me right. She keeps me up to date on what I need to know. And that being the case, we do have an infidelity clause, and that way works in, it's a double-edged sword. It works in favor of whoever was faithful, right? If, if somebody cheats, you <laughs> right now you get half of everything, right? Something goes wrong, it, you know, everything's split down the middle. But if you cheat, you lose everything. Now I'm talking about property, I'm talking everything. about assets, I'm talking about money in the bank account, that other person gets everything. So that being said, don't be unfaithful. You know what I mean? If you want to leave, just leave. You know what I mean? Say, listen, having a dope conversation and you be grown up and leave, but don't cheat. Because if you cheat and I'm able to prove it in court, listen, it's, it's a wrap. There's no our assets. Right? My assets, my my property, my inheritance. In is, you know what I'm saying? Not, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's in what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not even trying to be, you know, come from blood. It's listen, you know what this is. You know what I mean? You want to cheat? Okay. You want to be grown? Do what you do. Look, this this is mine. Do it's not ours. It's mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that That's being said. Why? Like, like I said, the re the rest of the prenup is made in love, right? It's, it's made to protect. And it's not just, again, it's not just for me. I don't want y'all to think I'm talking like, oh, Jordan talking outside his neck. No, if I were to cheat, my wife would get everything. It's made for both parties involved, right? It's a, it's a mutual agreement made to protect everyone that is in in the marriage. So infidelity agreement, um, I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, that's it. You, yeah, don't, you don't get no questions. It's right. just about the prenup. I think that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. All right. Yeah. All right, so my marriage is real and yeah. serious. It real. Is. And it's, it's, it's real. Don't it's, let this reality TV show shit fool you, bro. This shit is real. It's not a game. It's not it's, a game. It's love, but marriage is awesome. It's so much more than that. It's, it's, and I feel like people it's think business. that it's only based off of that. And that's the part that really kind of gets people fucked up. It's not just love. It's love is... is Love is a fraction of marriage, but there's a business aspect to it. There's a stability aspect to it. There's a financial aspect to it. You got to be prepared for all that. And, if and you're once not, you put kids in it, listen. Oh that's, no, that's a whole that's, thing. The kids oh, no. is the nuke to the equation. If you don't got all that other shit set up, practical nuke incoming. <laughs> if you don't got all that other stuff set up prior to the kids coming, it's like what? What? What we doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. You You got to be stable before you throw it because right. kids. Let's put it this way. The kids going to come and they're going to need what they need. And you're going to get what you need to get for the kids, regardless of what that costs, right? Because yeah. you're going to be great parents because that's how mm -hmm. life works. So, you know what I mean? You need to have your relationship stable. You need to have your finances stable. You need to have your assets stable. You need to have your debt paid off. But if you don't, you know, have it stable to the point where it is on route to being paid off, you know, you need to get there, right? Because the kids are are the question mark. You can't put, you can try to put a budget number on kids, but let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do what you need to do because it's your kids. Who told you that? Hey, a wise man. I know, you know, named Corey Covington. Oh my goodness. Yeah, put it like this. Go ahead and get divorced with all that debt and kids. Boy, y'all be in a joy and a sure panic and a sure panic because now likely one person can't afford the mortgage. And never mind. Anyways, all right. We got uh, three minutes left. We don't have three minutes left, but this is gonna be the last part. So, men, what is your outlook as far as merging finances? Men, not Jordan, because Jordan. It's not getting interviewed because it's his podcast. I'm about to say, <laughs> <laughs> about to say about two seconds. I'll be you, here, yo. You, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> nah, go ahead, Reggie. What you got? Reggie's all first. I got to say is um, as long as we making sure our bills is getting paid, all our you know expenses is taken care of, I, I have no issue with merging finances. At the end of the day, we got a roof over our heads. Our debt's taken care of. Any Anything that we need to get done is handled. I'm straight. That's it. Okay. That's Reggie. What you got, though? <laughs> sure, like that. All right, hold up. It's John. I said, you got it. You can sit back. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've been standing for a little bit. All right. So, what, Reggie? Yeah, he was standing for a little bit. Oh, he was. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. My take is that um, merger finances is the way. Okay. Um, but the way that we have approached it in our relationship is I'm the business, she's the fun. Um, or the. You so, like. <laughs> Um, you reverse a verse, and I'm gonna reverse it again. Yeah, or like, <laughs> so <laughs> like, hey, cuz playing Uno. <laughs> Uno. Uno. And and the way the reason I say that is like if, like, 
I'm taking care of all of our like well and listen not to say that, that Victoria does not take care of like oh, no. some hey, of the he, you can say it the business go ahead baby like <laughs> hey oh no oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 I mean I would see I would say that it's it's probably 85 15 business right because like V takes care of the groceries like I usually do not pay for the groceries unless like I'm fighting with her and I'm like nah I'm gonna pay for the groceries this week just because like I just feel like this is a week that you shouldn't have to pay for that um but like I think that like from that perspective like you know sometimes like merging things like it gets a little weird and you know you have your lows or like you got like and keeping track so like um, in terms of like the way that it works, like I get the mortgage, I get like the utilities and all of that car stuff. And, yeah, the car insurance, like, and all of that stuff is just like, all right, like, like that's how it works. So like, it might look on the day to day, like, you know, a lot of money's coming out of like my account, but like ultimately, like when V and I bought our new house, like I felt kind of bad about this, but like she paid, she paid to get the zone painted. Like she paid to get like all of this extra petty cash stuff that like was out of like the day to day because I ain't really had a bread for that. <laughs> like, because ultimately like like the mortgage and all that, like that's a significant part of income at the end of the day. But like when we want to take the opportunity to splurge here and there, um, you know, to whether that's some stuff that needs to be done around the house or, you know, A, we start to talk about a vacation or, or something like that that needs to get done. Like, it's nice to know that like our bills and our necessities are taken care of. And then we have that extra income that's kind of sitting off to the side that we can dip into and like use as we need to use it. Okay. So necessities, debt payments, investments, lifestyle, discretionary income. Again, I, I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Let me get myself again. It's over 9,000. I'm just validation. I already told y'all to do this stuff, but let me let the married people come on and tell you to do it. <laughs> Look, I mean, like, I got, I got like seven, out, eight hours of saying this crap. There we go. See, communication, working with your spouse. It's, Where is that? Do I get a turn? Like, yeah, what the hell is vibrating? All right, well. What? No, nah, you got nah, it. No, no, no. So Corey said I'm going to get a turn. It's okay. Be great. I mean, you, you can Be get a turn. I'm just saying. Pull no, up. It's okay. Pull up. It's right here, we'll bro. Here. It's not going to go any further. It's going to be weird. Just, nah, just I was, speak. You can speak. I was just going to say, basically, to follow up with uh, what Doe said, um, basically, joint or joint finances is the way. As long as you're on one accord with your budget and your finances and your financial plan, um, it, it, it it doesn't really matter whose account that it comes out of, right? That's more of a formality and less of a, you know what I mean, of, a, of, a, of an understanding, right? Like, we, we treat our finances as if it's one bucket. It doesn't matter who gets paid when. Yes. It's more of a, you know what I mean, who... who Who's going to pay what when it's due? But at the same time, from a math standpoint, we all, it's one big bucket. You know what I mean? So when the money comes in, I don't care if I pay it, she pays it. It's, you know what I mean? You got access to mine. She got, I got access to hers. Like that's, that's how that works, right? We do have um, a joint checking and a joint savings, but we do have individual accounts. But you know what I mean? She, she's on my, my individual accounts and I'm on hers, right? So it's, it's literally, I know it's two separate things, but it's, it's all one, uh, giant access mm -hmm. if that makes sense mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of when the money hits where you know what i mean yeah so, yep. stuff gonna get paid i don't yeah. i don't i don't care if it comes from mine or hers but it's gotta get paid you know what i'm saying so that's why y'all need to get out the mindset of the man has to do everything in the freaking world because it doesn't make sense y'all can't have it both ways y'all can't be feminist <laughs> and then say that you want your man to pay for everything that shit don't make sense it okay doesn't I'm gonna hold on wait 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 wait, wait hold on hold on hold on hold on i let y'all know guys, right. come on. Also, too, okay. this is going to be on the internet I'm sorry. forever. That's so, all, I all right, I just, That's my truth. I'll show you where I was arguing. That's my truth. Hey, let me, they, look, we got, we got two on, women here saying that. Listen. Put it like this. When I run them, when I run them six, y'all heard what I said. Evenly distributed 20K in Maryland. And then you want six feet, 3,000. Some of y'all looking for 3,000 men. Hey. If they, they were evenly distributed. Hold on. Let me just. All right, where my bag at? Oh, I'll, I'm always. Do y'all know bag. how much money it costs to live? It, no, they don't. They that's don't. why they're listening to us. Like, it's, it's a lot of hypotheticals, and that's why it pisses me off. Like, because when you think about the real mad. life, when you she think about mad. the real life she and the real implications this. of what you're hey, talking about, mad. that's when you really understand that what you're saying don't make no sense. Hey, <sighs> tell them, John. Hey. It's more positive. Hey. Let me shut Put it like this, so I can dead it real quick. On ep I don't know when this will be released after epi this will be episode we don't know I'll find a way to name it question but, mark but put it like this most of you don't realize that you need close to 
half a million dollars to actually live the lifestyle you want. On the Generational Wealth episode, you will hear me explain how you can make $300,000 and not have enough money. That's it. And y'all gonna be upset. And that's fact. You let me be upset. Let me, let's break this down. Okay, like, uh oh. Okay, hold on. I've been working for like five years now. <laughs> I've never made less than $60,000. So you came, you came with the big bag first? You came with the big I've bag never made first. less than $65,000 in my career. Right. Ever. Got you. I don't know where 75% of that bread is. Whoa. Hey. Hey, my bad. I came late. Whoa. Add the numbers Whatever. up. Whatever. Well, I mean, listen. Well, I here's the thing. Multiply my 66 and, for taxes, and then let's really talk. Correct. Because, like, money. here's the thing. And, like, not to say that, like, I blew it all, right? But, like, the first two years of my life or my career, I right. paid rent. You ain't never getting that shit back. It's gone. Uh, Ever. Uh, right? Oh, wow. You're talking a little different now. Like, then the next two years, I mean, I hid that money in a house, which is cool. You know what I mean? I was an asset. I moved that. I flipped that. I was like, we were able to move to another house. Right. But, like... Ultimately, like, is it liquid? No. 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 Hey, what does Corey say about that, Jordan? I mean, sixty-five times five. How, how do you handle your primary residence? You need to be in a high and, and that and assumes, and that assumes that I made the right? same amount of money exactly. over the last five years, you and I have it. You need yeah, that so cash on standby. Up. That, that key word you said, I should have record scratched on that liquid. If you do not have the cash on standby, that means you have to create yeah. a what, Corey, a taxable yeah. event yeah. to and he use was, that and, money. And he was talking about his primary residence, how you need to understand your primary residence will never make you any money. Absolutely. The only way it can make you money is if you become homeless. Exactly. But to my knowledge, y'all don't want to be homeless. Exactly. <laughs> or pick you, one. You can downsize in house. Literally That's what you can do. You can downsize in house or pay it off and then exercise your right to lose your outright ownership no lien and put a lien on it by doing a second mortgage or a home equity loan or HELOC remember those are your options but your primary residence as Daruba said nope yeah, nope 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 you just put money into that and then you flip it to another house and then you still have no money no money because it's still a house your net worth has increased though yep that is true it doesn't go anywhere. but the liquidity as far as your assets but this is why I don't like talking about that stuff. Your balance sheet look a little better. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, depends on how much you want to be liquid, as you said. I like that. They're true. They're true. They're true. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of pluses and minuses. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. Yes. access the pluses, you got to do some minuses. <laughs> yes. Right. So, yeah. China, did you have anything else to say? Yeah. We're wrapping it up. Y'all good? No, I'm just I'm just trying to get some more views. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> She was hot, yo. Tell the people why they get hurt. That's why I understand what you that's mean. Why, you that's why y'all be saying I be viral or whatever. Because I just be saying stuff. And sometimes people agree with me. And sometimes people argue with me. And that's how I be. What do and people agree with you about? What do people disagree with you about? I mean, it honestly just depends on the person. Okay. There's there's a lot of things that people agree with me about. But a lot of things that people disagree with me about. Give me, give me one explicit. One explicit thing? Mm-hmm. Um, of each, what they agree and disagree with. I mean, it's. I don't know. What do you think? What it's not his Twitter. <laughs> you are you on Twitter all the time. Are you on Twitter a lot? Okay, okay. Let, let me bring let me bring it back. Let me reference the TikTok one where she said, uh, "Your man, not China, but the TikToker. Your man, your husband, whatever. They should pay for the whole rent." What does that mean? Like, Jesus what does Christ. That mean? What does what mean? Does she mean like, yeah, she, does she, mean like she has to, you know, I didn't, like once again, I'm not on the internet, so I don't know who this person <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm back for school, you know? But my question oh, is for that, <laughs> for that person is her man should pay the whole rent. Was she insinuating that she should pay for something else or she was just insinuating she, she, he should pay for the bit, you know, I'm she was saying he should he should take care of the big bills. Right. Okay, so she can have her fun with her money. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. She says she would pay for other things, but as I said when we mentioned it, you have to define things as y'all were saying. Yeah, that has to be a dollar amount. So in short, I use the example. Well, let's say the mortgage or rent is fifteen hundred, and then he pays five hundred elsewhere. So he's taking out two thousand dollars, and if she's taking out two thousand dollars too. What the hell does it matter if he's paying a mortgage or not? You're both putting two can in the pot. That's what Dummies. I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to talk about the hypotheticals. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, I don't really get with that. I don't really. I I just don't. I don't get with that. Um, what that means. Yeah. But oh, you the question was for you. Can't but I, just I mean to that. Yeah, that's that's basically what she said. She was. She's a southern black woman. I'm southern too and I feel like, you know, there are some things I, 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 listen, I mean one of the reasons I was attracted to Daruba was because he could take care of his shit 
Mm. And thus he could hey. take care of me. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and fucking front. I'm not going okay, to sit here in front yeah. that that, like, that that wasn't, like, attractive. Of course, I think there's something, like, for women that, like, attracts you to a man who can, like, take care of his shit. But, like, the insinuation that, like, first of all, I think your man will end up resenting you if you think that he should just pay for everything and you should just have fun with yeah. your I, I think you're I think eventually your man's gonna be like um I think I just I think of it as a, a logical thing because like do you care if I pay how much my clothes okay I don't care uh, logically I make more than Reggie right now why would he pay more of the bills than me I I just want someone to explain that to hold me. on I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little caveat how however what did you say in a comment as far as once y'all get married, who will be making the financial decisions? We're making it together. There we go. Exactly. And that and that is the absolute other piece. We're going to make these decisions together. So that's the first thing. But then it, it, be, it just becomes a logic thing to me. It, maybe if, like like I said, per, whatever you said, percentage-based distributions, really? if we're going we based on... Right that. That's the second time we're going to use that episode. Right 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 phone at. Right 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 Copyright like, that. Yeah, for real. I mean, and I'm I'm being very uh, uh, hyperbolic when I say this, but like, okay, let's say Reggie makes two hundred thousand dollars and I make seventy. Why why would I pay the majority? Or even if it was flipped, yeah. why would I pay the majority? I wouldn't. I would pay what I can pay based off of my paycheck and what comes in at the time that it comes in. And I would, you know, want to work to make sure that we are living the life that we need to live. But if, if that's the case, what? No, Reggie, you can't pay just the phone. First of all, it wouldn't be just the phone bill because once again, we're merging finances. So uh -oh. Pieces uh -oh. of what uh -oh. goes where. And that's how it goes. And that's how it's always been. And that's how it makes sense. Yes, that's what you fools need to realize. When you're married, you don't pay for nothing. Y'all pay for everything. Yeah. That's why y'all sound dumb. 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 <laughs> dumb. Dumb. <laughs> dumb. 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 You, you can't pay for nothing. Even if the person is a stay-at-home parent, they have zero dollars in income. You, you can't pay for nothing. They might try to cancel me, but look, get your pronouns right. It's not I, not them singular ones. It's we, we, we us, we, and our, we, we, okay. together, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah, and, and, okay. and that's the other thing. Like, even if it is a stay-at-home mom, y'all made that decision together. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm going to help out the stay-at-home. You know how much, see, I, you know, the stats. You know how much a stay-at-home mom is worth? A lot. How, everybody can guess. A lot. Um, Give me a dollar amount. $75,000. Okay. 120 Okay. 80. 80. Probably 100K. 100K. 85. One, $180,000. Mm. People are not ready for me with these numbers. I'm telling you, I will embarrass everybody. You get punched in the face. It's chop, chop. No, no, no. You know, what, no. You know what it is? No, no. You know what it is? It's the hours. Yes, that too. Oh, it does, regardless the of what it is. Oh, it's, it's, the it's the, it's the hours work. Yeah. Yeah. The hours yeah. hours it's the hours, hours work that actually, because, you know, cooking, you know, child care, you know, shirt you know, things of that nature. Off. But it's the it's the actual hours it's that true. cause the raise that much. Because I've heard some black women say they are, they make more money, you know, than their grandparents. It's like, no, because you don't make 180K. Dummies. <laughs> Dumb, I'm, I'm telling you, see, I'm, I'm bad. It's, it's yeah. people know. It's 4 a.m. don't think about it like that. Y'all, y'all do need to look up the numbers. 180k is what a stay-at-home mom is calculated as far as being worth is what she brings into the household. So for those of you women who don't make hundred to eighty thousand dollars, by definition, you were Just quote unquote earning less than your grandmother and your great grandmother. Great job for you. Moms who work and are moms. <laughs> Jesus. And that, and and that's yeah. yeah, and for those of you who um, don't realize, it's no more I. It's a we. Go ahead and keep using I. You will be broke and divorced. Literally. <laughs> by your soul. But also, on the, on, the flip, on the flip of that, right? So, like, I think, and y'all just brought up the point about, like, if you're uh, a, a, a mother and you work. So, that's a place where we, as men, should be raising our, like, doing our part to raise our kids, too, to split those hours. That's true. Yeah. Because Absolutely. ultimately, like, the same way that we split our time, or the same way we split our bread, right? It should be the same way that we split our time. Yes. Um, because at the end of the day, time is money. And yeah. ultimately, that's how from a time and financial perspective, because all of this stuff rolls up into the same pot, right? Mm -hmm. That, like, we have financial health. Because yes. 
Yeah. yeah. No, Corey's said, looking like. Said, let's be clear. I've already said all of this. <laughs> Not saying y'all can't say but it, I, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah I feel like, I feel like. <laughs> And I will add what you just said about the like the I versus the we thing. Like I'm not gonna be broke and divorced, but I will say that me being raised by a single mother, I have a very I mentality. I always have. It's always been fend for yourself, niggas. I mean, not not really niggas ain't nothing, but it's it's been you know. What did Webby your, say? Have your own money. What did Webby say? I I need 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 what, what's that? What, what are the oh, chances? You know what that means. <laughs> and I have my own house, and I have my own car. And technically, I have two jobs, and I guess I do work hard, so I guess I, I am the song. But <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's I thought the you tweet. Like something real bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's the tweet. But I am the song. I mean, however, I am however, the song. however, however, right. I have recognized that this man, he brings so much into the we of us that like I have to get out of that I mentality. It's gonna take time, and it has taken time. And and I'm mean, not just in like the we when we talk we talk but I'll just say like when I'm talking about how I do things I need to work on saying we more and I mm. absolutely recognize that right. but I know that that's because I have always been yeah. I'm I'm gonna do this for myself right. I got this I'm we, fine you, we you're not, this yeah. I'm, a, I'm gonna let you know right now I'm two years into that and I still catch myself with situations right. where I, I be catching you we <laughs> in our financial needs. <laughs> And us, because it, it, it is a, you know, what I mean? it is a kind of, you know, when you're especially when you're a powerhouse and you're used to just moving, you know what I mean? Like, it, this was going to get done regardless, but it's like, nah, it's not, we, exactly. we, we got this done, not I. Yes. You know what I mean? It's a team yes. effort, right? Yes. So, that yeah, sentence right just, there, this was going to get done regardless, exactly. is pretty much how I've lived. That's how your mind is. A lot of my life. Right. Like, I, I got it. I'm fine. Exactly. I'm fine. But then, record, like, that is why it's very important to pay attention to. The partnership, it's literally a partnership. It's of me and you. So what I can do, you could probably do too. So we need to pay attention to that and, and see how we can work together and all that. Listen, facts. if you got a partner that you're not treating as your partner, you might as well get one of those things that be hang, like holding up the books on a bookcase because that's all like... Yeah. yeah. Like ultimately, it's just point. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nah, dogs cost money. That's true. Uh, hey. Well, they got the money. They all starting. China <laughs> said, "China said, what this man brings into the we of us." Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Come on okay. now, y'all. Please. Oh my lord. Okay, put it like this. Jordan and I are good to keep going. <laughs> I wouldn't say yes if I didn't recognize that. Mm. So. Oh my goodness. Yes, lady. See, what's up? Never mind. See, never mind. Never mind. Think China. about, hey, ladies, yeah. think about that before you say yes. Who would do? Absolutely. Oh, hold on, hold on. We, we, we together? together? Yeah, can we be we together? Do I want to be we together? Exactly. Or before you say that you'd rather be independent and reject the love of somebody who's trying to have your back, you know? Like, just think about, just give, give a about shout it. Out to give a shout out to give Mac up. Mac Miller, he had a lyric that said, we sounds better than you and me. And I mean, that's really that simple. Mm. But you really gotta think about that. Okay. Yes, I'm I feeding my dog. Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're She's right. Not lying, yeah. though. But that's what it is. And let's be clear. This is all the men. When we start, like I said, black, male, single, hundred cases. Y'all be out here trying to argue with the tw with twenty thousand men. <laughs> hey, you know what the ratio is? <laughs> Guess what the ratio is evenly distributed. For, for amount of women seeking that many men, everybody guess. Everybody guess. I'm doing. I'm prepping for tomorrow. Two hundred to one. You gonna give them now? It's a ten to one. It's two hundred thousand women evenly distributed looking for twenty thousand men, and then if you put six feet on that, it's two hundred thousand women looking for three thousand men. Y'all, for those of you who went to college, how? How? For those y'all went to college, were there three thousand six feet black single males on your campus? Because college is a place you have access to the most amount of single people for most people. Y'all, that's why I be making women say, "How much money does he have to make?" Because when y'all throw the six figures, I laugh at you. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Let me stop because then I'm about to start saying. What's that the average? Thing. What's the average salary in this country? In the country? So, or well, you mean, yeah, yeah, in the country? In the country, individual or in household? Uh, individual. Individual for men is 35, for women is 25. Yeah. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I'm going to hurt everybody's feelings. I'm going to hurt everybody's feelings. I saw a tweet that says something about that that I was in like the 1% 
of the black women. Yeah, and I, I'm I said like, that. I thought I said that. Yeah, if you're, yeah. if you're a black woman, you make six figures. One percent of black women make six figures. That's why when all these women be saying they have money, okay, I guess y'all all can't be in the one percent because then it wouldn't be one percent. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying put it like this. Putting yourself in there just. Yes, people lie. What? Put it like this, bro. People, when people have these conversations with me in person, because people sound good when they be talking with people who are dumber than them or via, you know, just typing it. When you have to talk to me in person, please, you're going to get embarrassed. I do. Put it like, uh, let me stop. I told y'all Corey was mean. Let me mean. stop. Hey, I hey. I Corey was mean. Corey know he mean. I'm, I'm not mean, but when you say something that is not true, by definition, it's a lie. And when people lie to my face, please. Significant <laughs> issue. Significant issue. R real talk. It just be like. What what men are out there? Put it like this. They ain't out there. And then when you do find them, I mean, I, I, if you have a, if it's 20,000 of them, right, in your state. That, you said what, me? Were they single, these 20,000? Okay, let, yeah, I'll do it real quick. So it's 40 billion black people, right? Half of them are men, so it's 20 million, okay? Then 10% of men make six figures. So that's 2 million men that make six figures, okay? However, half of those men are married, right? So single, right? Two million divided by half, that's one million. And the entire United States that are black, single, and make six figures, right? So we evenly distribute them in the 50 states, right? That's 20,000. <laughs> How did, I went from 20, I went from 20 million to 20,000. Now, that's assuming all 20, now it's 20 million males, not 20 million men. Right, you know, as it's forty million total black people, includes Doesn't children. Take into so I'm, 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 I'm overestimating. I'm overestimating. If you take out people who are not straight, right? If you take out people, if you they can't have kids, if you need a particular job requirement, like B. Simone, he can't be a nine to five. He has to be an entrepreneur, right? Did they what? have kids or not? You don't remember B. Simone? Oh, she, said she said that. I'm not on. All oh, right. The Do you know who B. Simone is? I know who B. Simone is. is yeah, she said she, 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 re she recanted because she got flamed, but she pretty much said, "I need somebody who is an entrepreneur. I don't want a guy who's a nine to five. Isn't so, entrepreneurship nine to five? I mean, like. No, no, it's worse. It's more hours. It's like more that's hours. Like, like, hey, like, hey, like, that's why they call her a bird, and they they <laughs> they, so they stripped her audio and just put bird tweeting when she speaks. Yeah, and then on top of that, if he has to be, have a height requirement, if he has to have a sexual prowess requirement, if he has to have a degree requirement, if he has to have a race requirement, then on top of that, this man has to be in your location. Then on top of all that, boom, you can have that what you want as a woman. That's not you're not selling for that man. Does that man want you? <laughs> Shit, I'm so That's what I'm talking about. Like, if it's twenty thousand men, exactly. and it's if it's a ten, if it's a ten to one ratio, right? And you trying to, I'll just go find one of these nine women. <laughs> That's not going to help me. <laughs> then see, I'm not six feet. But if you're six feet, put it like this: Reggie already taken. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's already taken. Reggie's already taken. Reggie was. Nah, we're a couple six feet guys over here, but and then you know, where? Tonight, so there's no, I, I'm, talking about, I'm, talking the, I'm talking about for the housewoman. Y'all not looking at me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I just, six feet, but I'm yeah. I fuck. But yeah, but I, like in person, I just pro imagine most people don't know these statistics, and you know I can just ramble off that fast. But when a woman says she wants a black man that's single to make six figures, you literally, literally on crack. They don't exist. I mean, how? how most women want hoop dreams for relationships. You want a one percent chance. <laughs> All right, we had uh, right. we over right. an hour, right, we almost at two hours now, and now Corey has uh, locked the flip in. So I'm gonna stop because <laughs> I, I this is why I had to so I told Jordan to stop talking because we we was gonna take over. All right, so I'm uh, uh hey, I'm a wrap. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up. So, anything else from yeah, you guys? Have anything else to say? Y'all good? We appreciate y'all time. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Thanks for having us. We appreciate y'all. It's, it's genuine love. We appreciate y'all coming out, just celebrating the house warming with us, and then staying after for this, you know, this vibe that we got going on. Yes, we, we appreciate. Yes, you know, appreciate don't, your time. don't call the police and say we held you. Kidnap right. as we did. It's, I know it's getting hot in this room, so we're gonna turn it on. Okay, look. It's, uh, <laughs> put it, hey, bro, this worked out a lot. Put it like this, we should have did this earlier. Uh, this worked out a lot better than I thought. I thought we should have did it when we had twenty.
20 people here. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, wow. Hey, can you let start? And it probably would have been. Yeah, like. Now, we would have kept the door open. In 10 minutes and then out. I would have been quiet because I would have gotten canceled. Yeah, how do y'all think? How do y'all think they would have reacted when I ran off those statistics about black men who make six figures? I think I would have been very quiet, Corey. I think I would have gotten canceled in that room very quickly. I got my man. Right. I'm going to just stay in the corner. I just say this to say so you can be aware when people are saying these things. A lot of women will say, I'm good, but you're the sum of the five closest people. So if your five closest people is trash, then you are trash as well. That's how that works. Oh, Corey. <sighs> stay away from the garbage, people. Reference. All right, yeah, we wrap it up. Um, So uh, shameless plugs. Daruba don't be on social media. V don't be on social media. <laughs> Reggie don't be on social media. China, China. China's, 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 China's famous media. enough for all of us. China, <laughs> China probably has more followers than all of us combined. China, you are, let me make sure I get this right. You're at Made in China, right? Um, yes. And China, made. and it's just N, not I-N. Yes, and in Made, China, the letter N, China. C-H-Y-N-N-A. Chi right, that's on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, right? Yes. Okay, and then I'll put that uh, in the show notes. You can follow me. I'm at sideline underscore Corey. You can follow Jordan at Stop Stalling J. That's S-T-O-P-S-T-A-L-L-I-N-G-J-A-Y. And you can follow the business page at Finally Fit 06. That's F-I-N-A-L-L-F-I-T-06 on Instagram and YouTube. And for those <laughs> who knows when we'll post this video, right? What's the day? Today is uh, July 25th and it's 4 a.m. Who knows when we'll post this? We got to fix all this damn edit <laughs> audio. Anyways, so um, YouTube is at Corden in full effect. Please like, share, subscribe there. China, I guess you'll watch this video and like it because you're in it. Anyways. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Please subscribe to us there. Like I said, we want to get to a thousand subscribers. I have to put in that work one of these days so we can do these live and have more interaction and engaging content uh, with our viewers. But yep, that's it. So remember to. Oh wait. You got it. Wait. No, no, no. I'm think. I'm, I forgot. This is a not a. This is a real episode, but we don't like. Never mind. Whatever. Courtney's been talking, right? Remember to. Yeah. Remember to say more and say less. And keep making better your best. And we will catch y'all in the. A.M. Right, in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is the morning. <laughs>